All right, some of you guys are coming back. I appreciate you. Thank you. Um, I had to reset my stream. Circumstances outside my control. Thank you guys for coming back. I see some of you starting to come back in now. All my clocks went back to zero. I'm good. I'm good for another eight hours. Hoping I'm not here till 12.30 tonight. Let me tell the owners that I have to reset my, my TVs. Be right back.
Oh, the numbers are high up there. Good. Thanks for coming back, guys. That's 40, 50 people. Whew. Thank you. Every time I have to reset the stream like that, I get concerned that you guys aren't coming. <laughs> You're not going to come back. They're not going to come back. They're not going to come back and see me. But I'm glad that you do. <clears throat> All right, the score has to have some updating here. Excuse me. Three one. Yeah, 49 people. Thank you. Yeah, Rick, I had to go uh, take a personal break. And I uh, appreciate you, Jeff. Um, so, somebody say this was a guy. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, someone did say that, Scott. Scotty Jans, I think someone did say that. Four. They haven't reset the TVs here yet, but we're hoping they do. Mike Denson sending a hello from Nebraska. What city in Nebraska are you, Mike? So now we had Nebraska, Texas, Michigan, Iowa, of course, Illinois. Uh, as far as countries, we had Russia, Philippines, and this is all today. Yeah, I agree, Scotty. Um, this is a 625 and under Fargo tournament. And... Uh, you know, I thought maybe I could be a 600 player, but no. These guys are crazy good. I'll probably be like a 550, maybe 525. So Sonny Godinez is calling me out hard and heavy. He wants to uh, play me a money game. Oh, he scratched off. That was a crazy scratch. Um, I know uh, Brian Wilkin called me out. We're going to do a uh, money game on the day after... Thanksgiving, Friday. Oh my God, somebody. Oh, jeez. Andy, can I, did you do this? Did you play this song? I hope somebody skips this song. Larry Deems in Indiana. Rick Schertz is in Peoria. Denson's in Columbus. 75 miles west of Omaha. Mike Lulo. What's up, Mike? The Demolition Man is live on Calcutta Kid TV. Um, the uh, bracket is at uh, digitalpool.com, Mike. I just commented the link right there. You just hit that link. Uh, there won't be any scores posted. This is not being reported to Fargo. I'm not sure why. I wasn't involved in that. I'm just a streamer. Um, I relay what they tell me to say. 
they're not going to, re to relay the uh, scores. So here we are. This Richard Hung, whatever this guy's name is, Edward Hung. She bangs. This is awful. Who played the song? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh boy. Thank you. Oh my gosh. All right, this is something I can, this is something I can relate to. Jeff won that game, so it should be 4 2. Watch Jeff break. I'll be right back.
All right, have a seat right there, young lady. Get this out of your way. That's garbage. Okay, put that on. Is that yours? Okay, that's garbage. So you see this button right here? Anytime you take that off or put it on, let me help you. Come here. I'm going to bend you like this. I'm going to come up high and bring it down. So what happens is... Can you hear me now? Yep. Okay, now watch. Watch what I do. You hear that? Mm -hmm. So I, come, I bring the microphone up over and down so you, you don't breathe on it. Okay, okay. okay so when I, when I do that, I just move my mic. Now I'm not breathing on my microphone. So I, it's all about my directional here. You, you can bend it so you're not breathing on it. Whenever you take that on and put it off, just turn that down to zero so you're not hearing. Okay. All that. Okay, cool. What's your name? Christian. Hold on. I got someone in the booth here. Christian. I'm Chief. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right. So how did we meet uh, a while ago? What happened? Um, I was over there trying to set up my tripod and you gave me a better one. That's right. Who's, who's, who are you here with today? My brother and his friend. Oh, I thought that was your boyfriend. No, that's my brother. That's your brother? Uh -huh. Oh, nice. That's cool. You come and watch, you support your brother? Mm -hmm. That's really nice. Where are you guys from? Decatur. Decatur. Very cool. And how old are you and your brother? I'm 21. He's 17. Oh, boy. Wow. He's the, you're the driver? Mm-hmm. You make sure he behaves? Try to. I hear you. All right, the score is uh, Jet is at five, and Jeff is at two. This is a race to nine. Let me go to push that up there. And what's, what's your name? Christian. Christian. I'm John or Chief, however you want to call me. I think Jet's going to get out again. Now he's on six. What do you do for work? I'm a CNA. Oh, my daughter's a nurse. Oh, yeah. My daughter's 31. She's a nurse in Cherville, Indiana. A travel nurse. Oh, yeah. That's why I'm schooled to be a nurse right now. Good. Good. Go for it. Are you on Facebook? All right, open up your Facebook. I'll show you my daughter's page. She's also a teacher. She can help you. Okay. So go to Facebook and type in uh, Amber Dawn. And the last name begins with the letter Y. I'll spell it for you. It's a difficult name. Okay. You done? Are you out? Dude. Sorry. Amber Dawn, Y-N-I-G-U-E-Z. Search that. Oh, you know what? Just type in Amber Dawn. Type, uh, I think her, her last name's on. Oh my gosh. Here. Here. Go to... Uh, here. And then go to... Amber Dawn... Uh-oh. A-M-D. There. So it's her in a swimming pool. It's that one. Let's see. Can you find that one? I'm looking for it. So Jet played a good, nice, long safety. Um, Jeff can see. I'm going to call him Wilbert because Jet and Jeff sound too close to each other. <laughs> Jeff can see the one ball. He'll most likely run into it on the right half of center. And the cue ball will duck under the two by the four. And he really just wants to put the, Jeff wants to put the, the one ball near the six. So leave the cue ball by the four and put the one ball by the six. He ran straight into it. Did you find her? Mm -mm. What? I don't see her. Are you on Facebook, right? Yeah. All right, friend me, and then and then try to try, do do John Eni guess like this. And that's the Illawa Cup with Q Connect in the background. Okay. And then I think once you once I accept that, I think you'll be able to find Amber. Okay. You got that one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now here. Okay, Christian Kogel. Yep. All right. Now check Amber. Now, now search her. Let's see. I'll search her new friends. 
There she is. Okay. There you go. Fr- friend her. And I'll say, uh, I'll tell my daughter you're going to friend her. Okay. Christian. All right, so uh, basically this is live stream Studio 6. I'm not going to go into a whole, a whole class about it, but um, Jeff turning on the afterburners. Yeah, he is. So basically what we have here is we have, uh, this is my... This is my streaming software. So here's my inputs, my cameras, if you will. Mm-hmm. So I have this camera right here. And this camera here is this one that we're looking that's looking at look at looking at us right here. Yep. And then I have the down here is the soundboard, which which is taking our voices and putting out there, right? Mm-hmm. And basically this is a USB hub, a hard drive, uh, that 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 takes our microphones, your microphone and my microphone's plugged into that, and that's plugged into this. Okay. That's all it is. And it looks pretty scary and ominous, but it's not really um, the PTZ camera is, stands for Pan, Tilt, and Zoom. Um, it does all this stuff by itself. So I, if I wanted to, check this out. I can go over here to the camera. I know we're watching table three right here, but watch this. If I wanted to go to table two right there, mm-hmm. watch this. I click down here to table two. The camera goes to table oh, wow. two. Now if I want to go over there to table four, mm-hmm. watch this. Cool, huh? Yeah, that's neat. So we'll go back here to table three. We're going to watch Jeff Wong play this uh, this kick on the one ball. Um, if I want to change the score, do, do, when you were in school, I'm, I'm a lot older than you. I'm a lot older than you. <laughs> My daughter's 31, so that'll tell you how old I am. <laughs> Did you guys have the uh, overhead projectors? Mm-hmm. Those little, basically the square things that, that lit up? Yep. And then it shined a light up on this mirror, and then whatever was on that mirror cast onto the screen that was on the chalkboard. Yep. You did? Mm -hmm. So those clear things that the teachers would put on us were called transparencies. Mm -hmm. And it was just basically ink on clear plastic. And they had to write them them backwards because when you put them on there, it's showing down the the, the board the right way, right? Mm -hmm. Well, these, all these down here, are nothing more than electronic transparencies. So when I make this one, I can move this around here, right? Mm -hmm. I can move this over here. See how I'm moving it around? Mm -hmm. And if I'm close and, and I'm too jerky with my mouse, I can do this. See, I'll move it real, real small uh-huh. with the keyboard. Cool, huh? Mm-hmm. Um, when the score changes, right now it's six to two. See right here? Yep. Wilbert is at six and Jeff's at two mm-hmm. and it raised to nine. When the score changes, all we do is we find the overlay that's on that's indicated by the blue light right here. And I open that up. I just double click here. I change either number I want. Then I hit this button right here, and it pushes it up onto the screen. Oh. So basically, um, I can change it here, and then when I'm ready for the world to see it, mm-hmm. I click that button, and then it changes on the screen. Oh, wow. So that's basically what's being shown out there on the TVs. See, the, uh-huh. you're on TV now. You're way up there. You, I see that. <laughs> <laughs> Does that make you nervous? Uh-uh. Good, good. You shouldn't be nervous. So do you play pool? I do. I'm not very good, but I do. Yeah, are you better than your brother? <laughs> not at all. What do you do that's better than your brother besides drive? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I definitely drive better than him. And so Wilbert's got a six, a five ball here. He's got a kick at the five ball orange ball he hit it and he scratched in the side pocket 
Um, the five ball, getting from the orange to the green is not difficult. It, getting from the green to the maroon, the seven ball, the seven ball and eight ball are together there in the middle. That's going to be the tough part. So let's see what Jeff does here. Do you have a, uh, a bridge head? Do you have a bridge head? A what? Do you have a bridge head? Oh, no. One of those. You don't have one? Now you do. That's for you. Thank you. That's for letting me beat you at pool over. <laughs> well, you let me use your brake cue, so I had to. Actually, it's not even ours. It's not even yours? It's a buddy of ours. Oh, me. really? You shoot good. Um, do you play against Braden? Braden. Rogers? What about uh, Sam Henderson? Mm, I've never him, but I know he's yeah, right. He represented the U.S. this year in uh, Team USA, right, against the World Junior Championships. And he's a nice kid too, like you. I've been a cop for almost 30 years. I know bad kids. You're not a bad kid. <laughs> I try not to be. What's that? I try not to be. Good. That's good. Getting to that six to the seven is going to be rough. So, th does he have the cut in the side, or does he have to bank it? All right, so uh, Christian's brother says, what's your first name again? JJ. JJ. Uh, JJ says the seven goes in the side pocket. If that's the case, uh, Jeff will just run up to the head rail and back down again, or just hit it slow like, oh, my God. God, he had it. He had it. He had it. He's not happy about that. That's awful. What's up, Bill? You want to leave and you want to stay? Do you want to sit here and, and commentate with your sister? <laughs> Come on. When, when are you ever going to ch get a chance to be on TV with your sister? Huh? I'm not talking. Try. Come on. <laughs> no. He's so shy. <laughs> so shy. All right. So your, your sister's going to be a nurse. What are you going to be? I'll make it in here. If that don't work. A pro? Yeah. If you don't make pro, what are you going to be? Cop? I know, it's a tough job. All right, so... So watch, you want to change the score? Take that, take that. Open, open up this one, double click it here in the center. Make it big. Yep, double click down in this box and then highlight the seven. Okay, I'll back up, I'll make that a seven. Now click here, and then minimize it, and hit that yellow to push it up, and X. Look at the score. Six, it'll be a seven in a second. There you go, see? Yep. See, that? that's how long the delay is. So you have about, what, 10, 15 seconds mm -hmm. maybe? So that's, that's the delay. So if you say something embarrassing, you got about 15 seconds <laughs> to hide your head. Do you want to sit down here? <laughs> really? Five minutes? So I can drink my beer? Drink your beer. But... <laughs> <laughs> he's so, he's you. so shy. All right. JJ's shy. That's okay. Did he go outside? Why are you so cold? The temperature dropped out there, huh? It's freezing out there. 
it was almost 45 for a minute and then winter's coming winter is here three nice and slow for the four this is a road map four up five left He, he'll, he'll play the six down here at the bottom right. If he gets behind the six. He'd like to be kind of straight on the five. So he can play the six down here. It's the seven, eight that's difficult. So what are you learning in school? Well, here's Amber here. Let's find out what she wants. So what are you learning now in school? Right now I'm just taking a biology class, so it's all about the human body. What kind of, have you thought about what kind of nurse you want to be? I worked in the NICU for a while, so either that or geriatrics is what I do now. Oh, older people, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, Amber's got a lot of questions here. Hold on. <laughs> um, she wants to talk, she wants to ask you questions about nursing. And she's a teacher, so she'll help you. Okay. So if you see her, this is what she looks like. Let's go back to here. Amber Dawn. She's pretty. Okay. That's her boyfriend. That's her girl. That's her best friend. That's her boyfriend, Jason. He's a union um, uh, sheet metal worker. He does this stuff. Oh yeah. They make a bunch of money. No kids. They travel. Oh, yeah. They travel all over the world. That's the way to do it. Yeah. I got married at 23. I had I had her when I was 25. Mm. And I just retired last year, so time for me to have fun. Uh huh. Nice shot, kid. Oh. Did he get it? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. He's looking at it a long time. That means no. Beautiful shot. Oh, he's on fire. That's eight. It puts him on hill. What'd you say? What, buddy? Wait. Oh, winning it? Yeah. Gotta be him. Oh, who, who could beat him? I was told he's an APA 4 in 90. This guy? Yes. There's no way. He must not shoot I don't know if that's often. true, but that's what I heard. <laughs> he's not. He's, he's, he's awesome. I'm an APA for if that tells you anything. <laughs> <laughs> I 
victory ball. Is this for the hot seat? No, I'm saying whoever gets the hot seat has to be double dip. If it's a true finals, yes. I'm not sure what Kyle's doing, but I, I don't run the tournament. I just stream it. Those guys, that, that's us. They have all the answers. Nice. Nice speed. You want to buy yourself some Calcutta Kid stuff? I have a towel for 10, a glove for 15, and that's a power bank for 15. But if you get one of each, it's 30 bucks. It's like a little charger. Here. One's charger right here. You just take that one. Take that one. Yeah. You just charge your phone. It fits in your Q case, you know? Do you have an Android phone? Yeah, I have an iPhone too, so so this is an Android charger. So you just need a USB here and an iPhone connection. And then this was down, this is a 13, this was down to like 10%. And I put this on it, and it brought me up to 45. So if you're at a tournament and you're stuck, it'll get you to the end of the tournament, you know, or the day at least. These are 15, those are 15, and that's 10. But if you get one of each, it's 30 bucks. Okay, what do you, which one do you want to buy? You already got one. Do you have a towel? Yep, on my case already. You get one of these and stick it in your case. I don't need that. Okay. All right, I'll put it back over here. <clears throat> yeah, right? The Predator gloves go for 28 themselves, and we sell them for 15. It's a good deal. I'm not saying I was a predator, but they're pretty close. The Q, Q Tech gloves rip apart easy. Too. Do they? What do you think of our gloves? Be honest. All right. I, I don't know. It's better than what I had. I'm gonna say that. Yeah. I had the Ghost Warrior. Something like that. No, if they suck, I want to know. I won't, I won't buy them again. But if they're good, I want. I'll buy them again. Yeah. Okay, cool. Probably gonna hit the two ball head on and stop the cue ball behind the five. I put the two ball in the middle of the table someplace. See it.
All right, she, if you, if you sent her the uh, friend request, she should have accepted it by now. Yep, she did. All right. Fluke. Fluke. I mean, when it's not, when it's not going your way, I mean, that's brutal. For you? I think he does a combo. He's kind of straight for the five, though. Can he get behind it? Yeah. He says he can get behind it. Your brother JJ says that Wilbert should be able to get behind the five ball. So force it with uh, right English. It looks like he's drawing. Where's he going with the cue ball? Oh. Wow. Good shot. That's pretty impressive. So he shot that with super draw with bottom left. He came down to the foot rail and it spun him out to the middle of the table. He'll have a little cut on the five to the left, but with top English, you can go up and back for the seven. These last two balls for the win and his match. Scratch. Wow. That's it. That's all she wrote. Wilbert defeats Jeff Long by a score of nine to two. Impressive. Impressive, ladies and gentlemen. That was very impressive. Go ahead and snap that score if you want. Screenshot it. And uh, I'll be back in a moment. Uh, you guys sticking around or are you taking off? Um, I got to go talk to Chris. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, I, meanwhile, while we're waiting, I'm going to have you guys uh, listen to a few words about Q-Connect from Calcutta Kid TV. I'll be back after this break.
All right, so uh, thank you very much for watching all that. Uh, I'm back now, and uh, I'm going to go over to table two for a moment. I don't know who these guys are, but that's uh, something to watch. Let me get to the PTZ. Beep, beep, beeps. Come on a little bit. Wilbert, are you here again? Do you know who you're playing? Who are you playing? Renee, you over here? Are you guys undefeated? All right. That's kind of nice. All I have to do is change. I have to just have to change this. Oh, just All right, let's go back to table three. That's our home table. We have a match coming up now. It's going to be uh, Wilbert Francisco versus Rene Carrion. Or in Spanish, they say Carrion. Hey, Wilbert, you want to be called Jet Francisco? You like that one? Oh, he had a smile on his face when I said that. He liked that one. All right, Jet Francisco it is. All right, there you go. Jet Francisco versus Grenade Carry On. Race to nine here on table three. You're doing good. I'll be honest with you, it's pretty impressive. Well, a lot, a lot of guys came to play and they're now hanging out. Is he still in it? No. Good for you. Good for you. How old are you? JJ's uh, 17, Renee. This is his sister, Christian. Hey, good for you, man. That's awesome. Hey, do me a favor. Uh, use, use, this as, use this as well, okay? Because I, I can't see that score up there.
All right. Um. Hey, shots. You want to come in? Come on in. You can eat right here. Yeah. I trust you. You're a big boy. Young lady, it was a pleasure meeting you. Me Reach out to my daughter. She'll help you. She's a nurse and she's a teacher. I appreciate it. And it's good to see you. Uh, may you never kick my ass again. <laughs> and you, you will me. I'll beat you one game. Two. Two. I gave you one. You, you gave me one. Yeah, you gave me one. Okay. And you ran the next round. All right, JJ. Good to see you, Shats. <coughs> All right, we got Renee Carrion and Wilbur Francisco here. Jet, he likes to be called Jet. Jet, Cal Calix Jet. Jet. Or just Jet. Benny and the Jets. You ready? Yeah. All right, you're in. Hey, you've got the Calcutta King and the Calcutta Kid here. <laughs> Calcutta King, Mike Schatz is back in the booth. That's right, that's right. Yeah, I'm here live in Bradley. Yes, and we've got a match starting with uh, the Jet and Renee Carrion playing nine ball right now. Have you been watching these guys today? I've been watching uh, who, who Jet. Do you think, who do you think's the favorite so far? Um, Jet plays really, you know, Wilbur. Jet Francisco plays really good. Um, I'd have to, I'd have to say that, uh, you know, he might be the favorite here and possibly in this whole tournament. Uh, you, well, take, you, think so, you think so, huh? Take this whole tournament down. Yeah, wow. he play, he plays strong. He's what's, really what's strong. The, uh, what's the, what's the, what's uh, the prize fund? Um, I was looking at the payouts earlier. So for first place, if you were to have gotten yourself in the Calcutta. Um, you know, side pot uh, and and um, turn, tournament, it'd be like six grand total. What, what about just the tournament prize money? I think it's a uh, little over, I want to say 20, somewhere around, I thought I saw 2,800, somewhere. That is outstanding. Somewhere thereabouts. Um, for, one, yes. for one day of shooting pool. Yes. And this isn't even professional level this is 625 and under correct yeah you could literally win like six grand and and you, you're a 625 and under tournament it's not even a, like a master's tournament or anything like that and uh the prize money is as good as i was just at chris's billiards uh you know a week ago and they had a tournament over there and the prize money wasn't anywhere even close it was like a thousand dollars for first and and fifteen hundred for the for the uh, players uh, on the side uh, okay. if if you bought yourself and uh, yeah it wasn't even anywhere it was like twenty five hundred dollars compared to six thousand wow yeah it was I'm gonna crazy. go ahead and turn Mike's uh, microphone off he's got a sandwich he's gonna eat let him eat a supper uh, go ahead. So I'll, I'll turn the camera so you don't have to watch Mike eat. Yeah, I probably shouldn't really be talking about... Uh, he understands. He, he gets it. He gets it. He gets it. He forgot. Oh, Cisco. Oh, Pancho. I forgot that I shouldn't really be mentioning uh, Oh my God! He made a tremendous shot and uh, on a two ball and scratched on a freak in the side pocket. So uh, Renee's gonna have a nice easy four ball run here. Slow down. All right, Rene goes to the first game.
you got a beef sandwich here? Beef sandwich nice. with garlic. With garlic. I got the uh, beef sandwich wrap. It was delicious. I had the wrap earlier. It was really good. This is the regular sandwich. Very good. Wow. Wherever they're getting that beef from. That's phenomenal. For a bowl, for a bowl, for a beef sandwich. You know who's got good beef? Jewel. Yes, they do. We got uh, 10 pounds of beef and some Ao Jew from Jewel threw it in a crock pot with the uh, little little uh, Kaiser buns. Oh my god, they were amazing. Someone's got to play some music, man. Look at this. I wonder if Wilbur the Jet is eyeballing this combo on that night. Absolutely. Three ball combo. I think we got it. Right. Two seven nine's pretty much wired in. He's, it's got a little bit of an angle. Uh, I wouldn't imagine he's going to fire this. Although he might to disturb the combo if he misses. Beautiful shot. Okay. Yeah, he made it. It was a nice shot. Scores 1-1. If you're just tuning in now, I'm um, John Enigas. I'm here live with Mike Schatz. We are in the booth. We are your commentators, your, your spokesman for Calcutta Kid TV. Live at Bradley Billiard Club in Bradley, Illinois. We're just off of exit 315 and I-57. Uh, about two miles west of... Nice try. About two miles west of I-57, maybe two and a half miles west of I-57 on 50. Bradley Billiard Club is a, a newer place. They had a bunch of valleys here uh, not too long ago, maybe within the last month. They got rid of all the valleys and replaced them with brand new or near new diamond pool tables. 14, I want to say they have 14 diamonds, 14 bi uh, diamond bar box, one diamond nine footer, and one nine foot gold crown, which I think the gold crown's days are limited. I think they're trying to replace that one as well. Uh, these, these diamond pool tables are not cheap. Renee's going airborne here. Nice try, buddy. They have a full service bar, bartenders, and food in the kitchen. I had their Italian beef wrap. Shots is eating their Italian beef sandwich. It is really good, by the way. And I'll probably get more food, just not right now. Although it is, what, 8.30? My goodness. Just like quick, huh? All right. I, I guess I should order something. He's making me hungry. Eat <laughs> right next to me. <laughs> well, I only ate once since noon. That's not bad. All right. Jets got the uh, five in the top left, the six down here, bottom left, seven top left, and the eight and nine go in the same pocket, top right. This is pretty standard. Let's see if he keeps it simple here.
he can um, slide this cue ball into the eight and keep it underneath the nine. Yeah, perfect. Renee says it's good. The game's good. It's two to one now. Jet over Renee. Well, Jet Rex, I'm going to go order some food. I'll be back in a minute. Feel free to go ahead and comment. I can read them. Um, my diamond tables are on back order, too. Oh, they are. Okay. I didn't know that. Um, it takes about a year now to, to actually get one. Really? Yeah. Hawaiian rolls with the beef sandwiches. Hawaiian rolls. Really? Mike Miller says. You can do like the little egg rolls with, and wrap them in, you know, with beef in there. Those would be, those would be you know who's got those? Uh, there's a place called, um, is it Nan not Nancy's? Sullivan's. Sullivan's Pizza. It used to be uh, it's a pizza place on 103rd and, near 103rd and Cicero. They've got those Italian beef egg rolls. Ro ro pot, pot roast pot roast egg rolls. That's what it is. Pot roast egg rolls. Gee whiz, they're good. It is not, Philip. It is not single elimination. It is a double elimination. However, these players have not lost yet. So the winner will move on to the... The winner gets the hot seat, Renee? I think so. Winner gets the hot seat. And the loser will, uh, I think, be guaranteed third. If this is the hot seat match... The loser of this is guaranteed third. Mike Creighton is uh, asking if anybody wants Renee because he's going to bet on Jet. Jeremy Maynard, send me one of those. Spe I'm, I'm telling you, man, it smells better than it looks. Trust me. <laughs> and it looks pretty good, too. Wow. All right. Okay. I'm going to go order food before the kitchen closes. I'll be right back. I got it. I got it. You jump on. Just turn this up when you're ready. All right, guys. I'm back. I got to say, those beef sandwiches here, I had the wrap earlier that was basically a beef and now I just tried the actual sandwich. Excellent uh, for a pool hall. And uh, the egg roll, Italian beefs, uh, one place that you can definitely get those. I'll give a little shout out to uh, Hot Pockets Pool Hall over in Palatine, Illinois. Hot Pockets has those. They've got chicken and beef in those egg rolls. And they are, um, they are actually very good. And I believe on Saturday nights, at Hot Pockets, they have those for half price. So instead of like $9 for an order, it's like four fifty, And it's a pretty decent size order, uh, just to give you a little bit of an idea. So we've got um, Renee Carrion uh, just won that last game, uh, and he's racking. Uh, it's basically a winter break. So um, the score would now be two to two, I believe is what we're looking at. We'll get John to uh, change that when he comes when he comes back. We'll get him to change the score. So Renee breaks, and I believe he made three balls on the break. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, six balls up. So a pretty nice break. And he gets a little bump on that five ball and, and gets a little bit behind that two. And that'll, that'll bring Wilbert Francisco back to the table or the jet.
You gotta turn the laptop. They can't see you. You gotta get your face in there. There he is. There we go. There he is. I'm back. So Wilbur Francisco or the Jet just made the two ball. Got himself a perfect shape for the three ball. Looks like in the side pocket. He's got the five ball that down at the back of the table, right by that corner pocket. Um, he's probably going to try to see if he can just slide down and get a straight shot at that five if there's enough room between the, the seven ball and the five. Well, actually, he drew it back a little a little bit, but uh, I, think, I think he got enough of it. He's just going to have to figure out what he's doing with that seven ball. Um, if he ends up bumping that, that could be bad. He's looking at it like he's not going to touch it at all. Ah, see? But take a look at this. What What in the world? Look at that leaf. So he's got the seven ball. He's got the cue ball right on top of it, right on top of that seven. And the nine is right on top, right on top of the other side of the seven ball. It, it looks like it's a wired combo, possibly. I mean, but he's got to hit it good. I mean, he's got to hit it clean. It can't be a push. He's a better player than I am, so I, I if think, he didn't like it, then it didn't go. I think it might have been a pu it could have been a push shot if he would have attempted it, but it looked dead wired to us. Okay. Uh, so he played it safe, and Renee made a made an excellent hit on that seven ball. Put the cue ball on the head rail, which is pretty clever. Force. Yes, he did. Force Jet to hit top English here. Yes. I ordered a pizza. I haven't tried the, the pizza here. I imagine it would probably be pretty good. So Jet makes that seven ball up in the top corner of the uh, table here. And he puts the nine down. So he is up. I believe is it three to two? Three to two. <coughs> Thank you. And Renee's got two. <coughs> oh, Excuse me. Yeah, I got the score. 3-2. Th Thank you. 76 people watching shots. Nice. 76 viewers. Excellent. Yep. Uh, here's my chance to make a, a plea for you guys. We have over 3,000 people watching uh, occasionally on Facebook. But we're, only, uh, we're just under 900 on YouTube. If you are one of those who subscribe to us on Facebook but not on YouTube, would you please take a, a 60 seconds, go over to YouTube and hit the subscribe, search Calcutta Kid TV, hit the subscribe button. You can come right back to uh, Facebook if you want. But um, I need to be over a thousand by the end of the year and what that'll do is help uh, Calcutta Kid TV uh, monetize in the amount of about 25 bucks a month or so. I don't know exactly, but that's what we're guessing. It's going to be about 25 bucks a month. It's uh, quite honestly, it's gas money. Uh, we don't charge for these events. So if you can help uh, give us subscribers, we, we need to hit that thousand mark, thousand subscriber mark. And uh, then we can start getting a little bit of money going into the checking account so that when we do these things, uh, maybe, maybe who knows, maybe one day it'll pay for my hotel room <laughs> when I go to Peoria or uh, Des Moines or Waterloo. So, yeah, please go over to YouTube and hit that subscribe button for us, please. Nice shot. Nice shot by the Jet. 
look at that hit that he just made on that one ball. That was beautiful. Curving around, Massaying, Massaying past that two, hitting the side rail, <laughs> and coming down and hitting that one perfect and leaving safe, leaving leaving Rene Carrion with no shot, basically. Um, even a, even a, an attempt to jump. Uh, from that distance would be, you know, would be pretty amazing to make he's, that. Did he put his jump cue away? Oh, he's got it with him. That's a jump cue. Yes. Uh, he's got to go about four feet. Yes, he does. Oh, he's going to hit the side rail. Oh, clever. He made a nice hit. He did. I mean, that's it. Unfortunately, he's he he's, gave he gave him the whole ball. Yeah, he's left him the entire ball to see. Yeah. So what what Jet's gonna do is he's gonna cut the one the one into the eight. Eight. Yes. Most likely, yes. No, what he what what Jet might want to try to avoid is uh, getting getting stuck behind the two seven. Um. What would be fortunate is if he hits this one eight, the cue ball comes down to the head, the foot rail, and hits the two ball coming up. Yep. Oh, he just. Oh, he decided to. He looked like he was attempting to play a safe. He there. didn't like it at all. And uh, he he didn't like the cut into the eight ball. He basically tried to play a safe, and you know, for his trouble, it ended up hitting the nipple in the side pocket, and it actually bounced back and gave Renee an actual leave at the. One ball, which then set him up for. I'm not streaming topless, Nick. This whole table is fairly is fairly open. I mean, it set him up from the one to the two to the three and four. The entire table is is you know this could be watch a, this could be a run. Watch the cue ball. He he can get stuck behind the six here. He can, but this could be a run right now. Potentially. Oh, lucky, lucky. Bumped into it real nice. Not lucky. It was fortunate. That's that was nice. Yep, bumped into that six real nice. I think the six goes bottom right. Nope, it goes straight center. He came around maybe a little bit far. 50 yard line. Yeah, got a little far on that six. He wanted it right in the side. And uh, He's still he, gonna cut it in the side. Yeah, he is. He's gonna improvise a little though. He's probably gonna shoot down off that bottom rail and come back for the seven in the other side. Uh, he's he's got enough of that. He's he, shooting good. He, yeah, he didn't he didn't quite get it where he wanted on the seven but he definitely had enough to make it all right a little bit of bottom right we'll slide the cue ball all the way up table to the head rail yep just like that sure will this ties the match at three folks yep three three Seventy-seven people watching. Our Russians went to bed. Uh, we had, we have people from Russia watching. From Russia? Yeah, they were on Twitch earlier. Nice. Um, I don't remember what the time difference was, but they were probably here about three, four, or five o'clock, and it was midnight there. So. Okay. But they they all signed off of Twitch, so they're. They, and, uh, if according to them now. They've I gone to bed. They've gone to bed. I don't know if it's true, but according to them. <laughs> Facebook is banned in Russia. Is it really? Uh, well, that's what they've said. Wow. So they can watch us on uh, YouTube. Uh-huh. And they can watch us on Twitch. Okay. But not Facebook. Four, eight. They made a ball. Yes. Cross side on the one. More than more than likely, it looks like it should go right One seven. a seven ball. Oh, he just played safe. Yeah, he played a safe. But if he had tried to bank that, there was a seven ball that was sitting right by the other side pocket. Yeah. I'm not going there, Anthony Lewis. He says we can officially say that Renee's better than his father now. <laughs> I'm not going there. Um, I'm not going there. Probably getting pretty close. 
Yeah, right. Probably getting getting pretty close to it. He's always in action. Yeah. You know, I think when I was uh, 17, I, I I could see everything. You know, oh, not, your eyesight is better. Yeah. I mean, I'm 53 now, and your your eyesight is better. Your you know everything. Your stamina, being able to sit there and play for six, seven, eight hours, you know, Wait, straight. I'm old, I'm older than you. I think so. You look older than me. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. I turned 53 in August. Yeah. Uh, August so what? August 12th. 12th, okay. Yeah, August 12th, I became 53. I turned 56 this I was year. actually in Vegas. Uh, the APA event uh, happens to the APA uh, event they have every August seems to always fall, like, right when my birthday does on August 12th. It's, it's either... The beginning, it depends on what the dates are that they make at the beginning of the event or somewhere in the middle or maybe toward the end of the event, I think, was sort of the case uh, this time, uh, this this last year in 2023 here. Uh, but, yes, I always go to Vegas uh, for <coughs> that. Uh, I've played in the um, Masters of that event uh, probably five or six times. Uh, brought a team out there. Uh, I mostly don't shoot. Uh, I've brought a team a couple of years. Oddly enough, uh, I'm Jewish. Uh, oddly enough, we've called the team the Bagel Stable. Nice. In one case, and and the team was comprised of Eddie Balderas, Gil Hernandez, uh, Polish John, Jonathan Szczyzinski, and um, in one year Alvin Randall. Uh, was on the team in place of, of uh, I believe, Polish John. Um, then Polish John jumped on the team. We did have, I think, one year where... There you go, Russ. I, Russ, I put up there for you. Had uh, Dave Rebos, I believe, on on the team as well. Dave uh, Rebos, okay. Dave, Dave Rebos, yes. Yeah. Yes. So, I mean, it's been a strong team. We've had multiple ninth place <clears throat> finishes. Multiple, not just one. But I'd like to see the team come come back. Uh, we don't necessarily have to call it the Bagel Stable, but let's give it one more try and see if we can do better than a ninth place finish. I think we can do much better. I think we could get it to uh, top three. I'd like nice. to see a top three. Yeah, Nick, he does work a lot, man. He's always out there in money matches. He's always putting himself in action. And that's, oh, he made the nine ball. He made the nine ball. He made a nine ball break. And he scratched. And he scratched. What does that mean? Is that, spot the nine spot and the nine ball in hand. And ball in hand for the jet? Okay. He almost had a golden break. Wow. Yeah, he would have won the game if, if uh, the cue ball stays up. Yes. He would have won. Yes, and he is actually a <laughs> Renee is winning four to three at the moment. So this is uh, this is big for um, the Jet at this point. I think it, it could have been five three. <laughs> I think he got yes, it would have been five three. That's a huge swing. Five three to possibly four, four. being four four if if Jet can take this game right here on that you know scratch. That was that's huge. That's a huge difference. Big swing, you know, 5-3. That, hey, that did you play the song? Could be a match. <laughs> I don't know. We're, we're listening to this song, but uh, oh, my goodness. The uh -oh. jet missed. Wow. I think he was trying to just pull the cue ball a little bit with some draw off a rail and ended up rattling that three um, he would have had great position on that uh, on that four ball and he ended up rattling that, <coughs> that three ball uh, Edward May nine doesn't count in the bottom two anyways correct oh it doesn't um, does, does not I thought it did uh, I thought the nine ball didn't count on the break jet posted it back up when he made it I thought it's possible um, it may not count in the bottom two corners that's possible where's Kyle at there's been tournaments I've played in that are that are just like that that is possible 
Hold on, I gotta ask the man. Oh man. JJ, tell Kyle to check his phone. Wow, he hit that. He hit that three too hard. And he let him have he let him have a shot. I got it, I got it. thank you. I got it. Wow, he let him have a shot at it. Alright, so I uh, got verification from Kyle. Nine ball in the bottom two. Does not count. So the top the side pockets and the uh, the head side of the table, it does count. Uh, I think Rene went a little far with that, and he may have just stuck himself. Watch Let's him make see. the nine ball. Let's see if Watch he's him got... make the nine. Yeah, he had a little bit of a hit at it, but not enough. I had that feeling. I was looking at it, and I had that feeling. What's up, Deal? Oh, wait. Hey, what's going on, Deal? Uh, Eddie May doesn't deal. count. Bottom two. I played in the event. Okay, there you go. Got Dio Batista here in the booth with us. <laughs> oh, yeah? ¿Cuántos no puesta? I got money on three tables. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. I always play somebody. She has played somebody. Luis has played somebody over there. Oh, well, there's... Everybody's in action. There's action in the... Are they all out of the tournament? They're all out of the tournament. All the players that are out of the tournament are playing action games right now, so there's action... There's action throughout this entire room happening right now. So you've got Jaime Magdaleno, you've got Chia Estrada or Angel Estrada playing uh, in action. Uh, they're all out of the tournament. Um, yeah, we're watching Jet here, but uh, he just hooked himself in a nine. I yeah, uh, I saw that he was trying to get that breakout on that eight. And, yeah. and nine, because that eight ball, I believe, was so buried on top of that nine. It was, it, it was. Would, yeah, it, was. it would not have gone. And uh, as a result, I'm wondering if he's got anything to, to even do with this seven ball here. This is a tough shot. Jimmy says, most rack your own uh, nine ball doesn't count in the bottom pockets. Okay. Are you kidding me? He almost made that. He kicked at he kicked at that and and it almost flew into the side. That was an unbelievable shot if that would have gone. He's dead straight at that eight if that would have fallen. That's a seven hundred fargo shot. Yeah, if that would have fallen in, wow, he would have been dead straight at that eight. Ball. Seven ball cross side here? <clears throat> My goodness. What do you think? Seven ball cross side? Possible. Yeah, you could come right back at it. But I mean what a fantastic what a fantastic attempt by the Jet on that shot. And he would have been dead straight at that eight ball. 86 people watching shots. Hey, we're getting we're getting more more viewers. We yeah. were at like 76 um, a little while ago. We got you, 10 more people watching if you guys this are, now. If you guys are uh, on Facebook with us and not on uh, YouTube, please take this moment to go over to YouTube and search Calcutta Kid TV and friend uh, subscribe to our page there. Um, if we can get to 1,000 viewers by the end of the year, that will help our causes, help us provide more of these events for you guys. So we're looking for more subscribers on YouTube. So please go to YouTube, search Calcutta Kid TV, hit the little subscribe button. You'll know if you're not subscribed because if it says subscribe with no D at the end then you have to hit the hit that button and you'll be subscribed now if you've already done it it'll say subscribed I'm trying to think what the thinking process on that last shot was because the jet basically left him straight in for that seven ball in the side pocket so I'm wondering what the thought what the thought there was actually because he left them dead I mean there you go. I, I I believe he was just trying to play a save. It's five three but, now. Yeah. So that makes up for the eight ball that he missed. Yeah. He. he I mean the nine he ball he missed on the break. He left him dead at that ball. I I don't exactly know what the thinking was there. All right. So scores five three and then race to nine. Uh, take this moment to uh, 
add us on YouTube, please. Pretty please. We have 3,000 people who are on our Facebook page and only 850 or so on YouTube. If you're one of those that are not on YouTube as well, please take the moment and go over there. And it takes us 60 seconds. Hit that subscribe button. Come right back to Facebook and you can watch us here. Um, we just need a thousand subscribers and you'll be helping our cause. Thank you. I mean, we got Renee showing a little little something in this match here. Uh, yeah, right. Jet is no easy, no easy opponent to play against here, and Renee is definitely showing him some game. Renee tries to uh, play a safe here, hide, trying to hide him behind that four ball. Um, I'm not sure if he got him. Did I don't know if he got him or not. It's a little tough to see. He says, "Yeah." He says, "Yeah." He says he's, he thinks he's got him. He's. He says maybe 80% of it. I don't know. We saw we saw the Jet do that Massé earlier. Oh, that was awesome. Where he hit that side rail and then like made a perfect hit at a one at a one ball that was further down the table in an earlier game. So I don't know if it's it's not that easy to, to stick him. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. No, he, that was. Renee a gets sick. down quick. He gets down quick and fires. Yeah, that was he, a sick shot earlier from uh, the Jet, but. Um, we'll see. He looks like uh, he's got an, an open shot here at this one now that uh, Renee was actually trying to stick him behind the seven, I believe, down at the bottom of the table there. Mike Crichton is still trying to get some action here. Uh <laughs> Want Renee for fifty. He wants he wants Jet he wants Jet for half half a Hondo. Who's Alex? I can't I don't see no Alex up here. No, I don't see it. Uh, I don't so know. Let me let me let me go to face let me go to YouTube real quick and see how many people have uh, followed my request. Now look at this. Jet gets right down for that five ball. Well, some nice some, shot. Some did shots. We're at eight hundred eighty-two now. Okay. We were at eight fifty earlier, so now thirty some people went over. Nice. I, I appreciate that. So, um, I'm trying to get to the thousand. I got I go to 100, 118 more. I need hundred and eighteen people. Got to see how he's gonna try to. Uh, oh, he he played a very nice safety the jet um he wasn't even going to attempt to he probably could have tried to make that ball watch his kick slid past that he hit it if it would have slid past that seven that was back there but uh he decided to play a safe renee did get a good hit on the five which is uh where jet is looking dead straight at right now from where the cue ball is it's behind the five is behind that nine ball back there back of the table. I don't know if he's got enough room to pocket that. He might just try to play another safe here of some kind. Did you ever notice how much, uh, and I'm part Mexican, so I can say this, how much uh, Mexican music sounds like uh, Polish polka? Yes, quite a bit. With the oompa. You can hear, you can hear the song right now in the, that's playing in the background here, and it almost sounds like a polka song. It does. It sure does. <laughs> It's happy music, though. It's happy music. Uh, so the person who donates the most stars during our broadcast today will sign off at the end of the tournament. So the person who donates the most stars will get a free...
Calcutta Kid hoodie or sweatshirt? The person who donates the most. If nobody do- donates and you donate five bucks and you're the most, well, you get a free hoodie or sweatshirt. Not sure what the thinking process of that was, yeah, but I think hard. he's going to get away with a, a bad roll for Renee. To, he was going to get that leave at that six ball. And he, and he almost made a fantastic kick. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, I don't know about that one, though. If that's if anything can be done with this 6-9, it's not exactly lined up. I'm not sure that the Jet would even, would even give it a try, but he's looking at it. But um, that was just a bad, uh, ended up being a bad roll for trying to get a leave on that on that six ball and Renee had to kick at it and almost kicked it in the corner almost made it in the corner pocket on the kick for those of you who are still with whether you're on YouTube or Facebook if you can reach down there and hit that share button nice shot oh I thought he made it he gave it a try he sure gave it a try on that nine ball he went for that combo Unfortunately, he kind of left that six by that side pocket. Yeah, two rails back for the seven. And he, yeah, he could very, very well come back. And well eh, he might have hit that well a little harder than it needed to be. Yeah, unfortunately, these tables, these are tables that were acquired from the tournament out in Las Vegas. Uh, the APA had these tables. These are some of the tables that were in Vegas in August that have the four and three quarter inch pockets. These are the tables that are here at Bradley Billiard Club, basically. So some of, I may have even played on one of these tables because I was in Vegas in August and not even not even known it. You know, there's no way to know which uh, you know set of tables you know wow. came, came here. Now Renee made an excellent. Bank. Wow, he's gonna make the six three. Watch this. Eight yeah. ball straight in. Yeah, he made an excellent bank on that seven ball. Crazy. Oh, I think, John, I think you got a pizza coming here, man. I, I'm seeing her carrying a pizza this way. Ay, ay, ay. It, 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 it's not looking good for Jet at the moment. On your He's counter, please. going to be down 6-3 here. That's what it looks like. 6-3. to three. My food's here. Yes. Uh, listen, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you could mind, uh, do me a favor, please. Hit that share button. Send it out to your family and friends. Let them know you're watching pool. If, if we can get them to click on your your share, if they're curious and find out what they're watching, they're on for three seconds or so, we get a credit for that. So um, I'm, I'm just letting you guys know how we get uh, compensated for pro- providing these types of events for you guys. So if you like what we do and you want us to keep doing it, uh, help us out by sharing out this feed and letting your friends and families know what you're watching. Maybe they'll become fans of ours also in the future. Shots, you got this? I'm going to go eat some food. Yes. All right, buddy. Thanks. All right. All right, guys. I'm still here. Um, you've got Renee shooting at this uh, at this one ball, cutting it in the uh, top corner, getting himself a leave on the two, which he looks like he may be cutting toward that left corner where that piece of chalk is sitting on the rail. And he went for it, and unfortunately, he did not get it. But he didn't leave an easy shot for the Jet. Okay, let's see what the Jet wants to do here. What? Oh, 
Okay, so he plays a little bit of a safe. I mean, he leaves him on that. <clears throat> he left him on that uh, side rail. <clears throat> Rene went for the bank and just missed it. Literally almost went right at the nipple with it of the side pocket. He leaves Jet a shot here. I think Jet was attempting to play safe, and I believe he's he's gotten the safe. There's too much with that five and that four ball. And even the three, even the three, which is right next to the two, is a little bit of a factor here. And Renee makes an excellent kick shot. Got a nice hit and left him back behind that three ball. So he is going to have to kick at this. He is kind of stuck behind this three ball that's up at the top of the table right in front of the cue ball. So we'll see what he's going to get here. Interesting shot played by the Jet. So he basically, I think, got him safe. He uh, may have him a little with this four ball from the looks of it. Renee's going to try a kick shot here. It should be a fairly easy kick. I mean, he definitely had the ability to kick at it without a doubt. Um, I think he left him stuck behind that seven ball. Kicked it pretty good. Interesting game here. Okay, let's see what Wilbert let's see what Wilbert's gonna do here. Wil Wilbert, also the, known as the Jet. And he was able to hit that ball. I didn't I didn't realize he had enough of it. He had a piece of that, and he was able to get a decent hit at that. And uh, he may have an attempt at this five in the side on that combo. Yeah, he was able to get enough of it. Yeah, this could be a little trouble here. This This could be this game, too. Got a pretty decent little uh, table's kind of open here. Shoots the three, the four. Well, he, he, okay, he went a little far back on this. I mean, he still got a shot at this four ball, but he went all the way back down the table. I don't know if I would have exactly done that, but he makes it. But he's not left fantastic at this six. He's got to make a shot here. He's got to shoot a real shot at this. And he makes it nicely. Put that six ball down. He could end up going up seven to seven to three here. <coughs> Excuse me. Everybody's been kind of coughing a little bit lately. I think something's going around. I've had it for a little bit of the day today. He left. Uh, he left Jen a shot at this uh, seven here. Yeah, he made it, and Renee says he's good. So Renee can concedes that game. So it's uh, 
that went from being 7-3 to 6-4. to four. That's a pretty big swing right there in and of itself.
Okay, I'm back for a moment, folks. Uh, I may grab another piece of pizza. John got a gigantic pizza here, and uh, there's like probably more than half, probably three quarters of a pizza still left uh, because he simply just can't can't eat it um, by himself. It's a it's a large pizza, and the pizza here is actually as good as the beef sandwiches. So that's just something to uh, to note. Uh, we're having a sausage pizza, but I'm normally a pepperoni guy. But I gave it a gave it a shot just to see what a piece would be like, and it's actually extremely good. Um, so as you can see, uh, that one game hurt Renee. Um, the match has basically gone to uh, six six. Uh, it is tied in a race to nine, and uh, one game can you know make a. a all the difference in the world, you know, as far as like a swing in this match, basically. It could have been seven to three. It ended up being six to four earlier. Now, you know, the Jet has come back and gotten two games in a row and tied it up at six to six. Um, you know, just gotta see what's what's gonna happen. What's gonna happen here. Renee's at the table, but the one is all the way at the top of the table, the one in the six ball are what's hugging the rail up at the top of the table here. And Renee makes a nice hit at that one. But unfortunately, he jumped, and he's going to give the Jet some kind of a shot here. It bumped into it. You know, he made a nice hit. with. He jumped over it with a jump cue, jumped over that eight, and got a nice hit. But unfortunately, he kind of left him a nice little piece of this. Oh boy. Pizza's not bad. Sorry. <clears throat> All right, so we have, uh, do commentary? Okay, Dex. Oh, Dex Cadasio, yeah. What's uh, Edwin? What's up? He says he feels like he's Shane Van Boning at a stream, watching a stream. Uh, this is table number three at uh, Bradley Billiard Club. Slide over to the right after this match, please. What do you mean? You want me to watch table two? Filipino balut pizza? Do they have that here? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know. Mike Herman, are you making it, Dex? Oh, boy. I needed to eat. You know, I was here for eight and a half hours. I didn't realize... Wondering why I'm hungry again. All right. Wow. See, that one game might. That one game was the was the kicker. Jet takes the lead for the first time in this match, seven six. I'm John Enigas. I'm here in the booth with Mike Schatz. We're live at Bradley Billiard Club in Bradley, Illinois for Kyle Gray's 625 and under nine ball tournament. $225 entry fee, 39 players. Prize fund's going to be nice and hefty. Um, if, and I believe this is correct, Renee and Jet are playing for the hot seat, if that's correct. Then the winner is guaranteed second, and the loser's guaranteed, well, the loser would be guaranteed fourth, right? Am I confusing myself here?
No, guaranteed third. He scratched, and uh, Rene jumped out of his chair. <clears throat> JJ, JJ, go ahead and eat, man. Go ahead and eat. Go ahead and eat. Take a napkin. Otherwise, it's never going to get fitted. I mean, look how much there is left. Don't want to throw all that away. I mean, you could bring it home, but throw all that away. Luis, get a pizza? Hey, Jeff. Jeff. Jeff Jones. JJ. Oh, you can't hear me. It's still hot. Is it really? Take take more. Um, there's a plate right there, Jeff. It's 8-6. Eight, six. Oh, that's impressive. He was down the whole match and uh, kicked it in gear. I'm not quite sure if I, I was really eating my supper over there. I'm not really sure what happened, but I believe it's eight to six right now. Yeah, I'm not sure what the what, what was the swinging point in this um, match because I, I was eating. I the, the swinging point was when it could have gone seven to three, yeah. and it would have been in Renee's favor. It ended up uh, Renee couldn't convert on that game, and uh, the Jet won that game, and it became six to four, and then the Jet won two games in a row from there. And it became uh, six to six, and now he has pulled ahead uh, two more games from six to six. It is now eight to six. So he he has capitalized, and it was just that one game that really <clears throat> swung the entire. I mean, we're talking like probably about a four game, literally like a four game swing. You know, for a bar pizza, that's not bad. It was actually really good. And, I mean, there's still half of that pizza left. I mean, and, uh, oh, he scratched. Jeff, jo Jeff Jones came over and, and grabbed a few pieces of pizza. Jeff Jones is in the house. And he came and grabbed a couple pieces of pizza. And even with him eating some pizza and one or two other people grabbing a couple pieces, there's half that pizza still left. And I've had three, I think I've had three pieces uh, at this point, and there's a half a pizza left, so it's a pretty decent sized pizza. It's it's very good. Um, I definitely recommend the beef and the pizza here. He's gonna run into the nine ball here. Yeah, he probably is. Oh, he went he curved, around. Curved, but only he this. did, but he hit it. He hit it too hard. hard. He hit it hard. These yeah. tables are fast. I mean, he's got a he's got a shot, but it's like. It's a possible scratcher. How thin, yeah, how thin can you cut that ball, you know? Like, I think he just elected to kind of try a safe, but yeah. he's, he's left him a hit at the entire ball here. He'll back cut it, right, Bank? Maybe. The Jets left, our right? Yeah. Possibil possibility. It's not the easiest shot in the world to do the back cut on. So, I mean, he may just elect to. Well, the eight ball not to do stops that. the bank to the top left corner. It sure does, yes. <clears throat> yeah.
Yes, but if he tries the other bank and doesn't make it, he may sell out the rack. He might sell this whole rack out. So I think what he was electing to do was he was trying to play a safe here. And I don't know. Came out too far. Might have come out a little too far on this. And he may have left him a shot. Rene got down pretty quickly. He did. Yeah, he left He left him a shot. A little bit of draw off the side rail back to the middle of the table for the eight ball. He, did, he had no draw. He had straight, straight top. I mean, these tables are playing extremely fast. This is just like if you were at the APA event in August. They were playing pretty fast back at that time. These these are playing pretty quick, um, and they're they're moving. So got to be careful. Not that was to, a nice shot. He hit, yeah, hit inside English. Beautiful shot. Killed the cue ball and it came straight back for the nine. Yep. You got to be careful not to. Uh, nice shot, Renee. So Renee picks up a game and it's eight seven. Wow. The person who <coughs> donates the most stars during this live broadcast tonight will get a brand new Calcutta Kid hoodie or sweatshirt. Your choice. It will have our Q Connect logo on it as well. Q Connect is the app we're coming out with in February. Hopefully February. That's what we're aiming for. A lot of things need to uh, align to uh, make that happen, but that's our goal. Calcutta Kid hoodie or sweatshirt? Donate some stars. Get over there and give us some, uh, please, some thank yous for uh, providing the stream for you guys. Thank you. Jason Allen says, I swear I saw someone playing eight ball on this a few hours ago. You could have seen, possibly seen somebody <laughs> rack up an eight ball rack. It's not impossible. There have been a couple minutes here and there where some of these tables have, have been, you know, open for a few minutes, but most of the time these tables have been being used for, you know, tournament matches. Yeah. Um, there would be tables, like, way on the other side of the of the building oh, that Renee. Are up toward the you know up toward the front door that uh, you know that are you know currently open you know as the tournament's kind of emptied you know emptied out and people have lost Renee uh, had and, a shot at the two left. ball shots yeah he did and and I saw that you uh, saw what happened yes Three nine. Yeah, and the Jets going right at probably going right after that nine ball, which is sitting dead in the corner over there. Three nine for the win. He's got to over overcut the three ball a little bit. A little bit. He's got to hit the the nine on the right side. Yep. Oh no. He did not. Convert. <coughs> he hit the three straight in the hole. He did not convert. He had to overcut the three a little bit. Boy, he left that three hugging that eight. I don't know if that's ma a makeable shot. I'm not sure. He's going to hide behind the eight ball. Yeah. He left it touching. Too hard. No, no these tables are fat. These tables He's going to bank fast. it underneath the five to make the nine. To make the nine. He sure could. He could give that a shot. He's looking at it. He sure could. <coughs> I mean, why not fire at it? You're on the hill. I mean, technically, he doesn't need to do that. If he can cut that three, the five ball goes dead into the nine. You know, as a combo, you make the three, you make the four. You got the five dead, at, dead straight at that I th nine. I don't know. I think he banks the three. Unbelievable. All right. he, he did not make he did not make the shot on the three. He he actually did what I was thinking. He was just going to play the three, probably play the four, and then he was going to uh, shoot the five into the nine, which is a dead straight combo, perfectly lined up, and uh, he rattled that three ball when he tried it. Hit a little fast. And 
Rene is going to have to run the run the rack probably. He doesn't he doesn't have any kind of a combo here. He doesn't like it. And he doesn't even like this shot because I think he's got to try to force this to get back to that eight ball. And he didn't do it. He didn't get back far enough. I mean, he's got a obviously got a shot, but I mean, an excellent bank. Wow. Nice. Wow. 8-8. Eight, eight. Well, you're getting your money's worth, folks. It's Hill Hill here. Jet Francisco versus Rene Carrion. They give each other a little respect. Fist bump right there. Going into the last game. It's going to be Rene's break. What's that? A little personal break, so give us a couple seconds. Frankie Ruiz, give him a minute. He's... Uh, I'm going to take care of some personal business. Pretty impressive. I thought for sure uh, Jet would have uh, banked that. I was thinking he might have. Banked that three ball underneath the five. A ton, uh, like you said, why not just try it? I mean, if you. Especially it, that if speed. You, if you it got would, it. It would have tightened it, up the rail. It would have gone. It, yeah, at that speed, it would have gone right in. I mean. He would have hit it firm. He would have hit it firm. And he would have gone, gone deep underneath the dead. five. The, the, the three ball would have come straighter back. Yep. Right into the nine. Even if you hit the side rail right before the pocket, you still kick that nine ball in. Yep. Yeah, this could I'm, I'm sure uh, Renee's thinking about a shot he could have made that. That, that changed the momentum of this match as well. So. Yeah, this could get a little interesting here. Yeah. <laughs> now it, now Mike, it Mike Crichton is still trying to get action. 50 on Jeff. 50 on Jeff. <laughs> you going to take it? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a one game. It's, it's actually Renee's break, so it favors Renee. It favors Renee. Hold on, Mike. Uh, Luis. Luis. Mike. Mike Crichton wants $50 on uh, Jet. Do you want to take 50 on your son? Huh? One game. No? All right. We're trying to get it. Crichton. What's that? Who was it? Mike Crichton. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Okay. I understand now. So quickly before we go into this uh, Hill Hill game here, uh, this will be the third time I mentioned my sponsors, but that's okay. Never too many. Jared Frieders from American Hustler Apparel. Thank you very much. Dan Anderson from Atlas Billiard Supply. Gil Castillo from Castillo Leather Goods, Oaklawn, Illinois. Digital Pool, nothing more needs to be said. The partnership between Calcutta Kid, Q Connect, and Digital Pool is going to be amazing. Watch. Tom Van Eck with IQ, IQClinic.com. Pat's Billiard Supply, Pat Prendergast, Pat's Billiards and Dart Supplies. Stefan Supporta, Supporta Law Offices in Joliet, and Bill Filipiak of. W A F Custom Q holders. Ah, uh, Renee broke dry. It's not a it's not a terrible just the four and the four ball and the five down on the back <clears throat> on the back rail almost look like they're hug, almost hugging each other, but other than that this table's kind of an open table. Dave Spinks, sorry, I thought this match was over. Nope, it's 8-8. Eight, eight. Um, Hill Hill. I'm, I'm very impressed. I mean, I shouldn't be proud, right? That proud is, pride is a sin. I, I'm very happy, pleased with the amount of 
sponsors we got for our 2024 season. Look at the list of companies there and the, and the people we have. It's just, it's an impressive list, if I say so myself. Uh, look at that two ball Jets got underneath the six. Yes. What, what, and then look at the four five. Yeah. So even if he makes the two to the three, the he's four, four five could be a getting little bit of a from the three there. to break out the four five with that seven in the way is almost impossible. Yeah. Be a very interesting shot. <clears throat> you know, it doesn't matter how many people are in a pool hall, you can still hear Jason Kruger. <laughs> yeah, I just heard Jason. Jason's over uh, toward the bar. Um, I, I mean that. With, I mean that with, area. when Jason watches this later. I mean that with love, my brother. Yeah, he's yeah he's probably about uh, forty feet away from us at least, if not more, possibly, but about forty maybe. And yeah, I could hear him like he was standing right next to me. <laughs> Crazy. Look well, at this though. Cue ball mean, comes out. Uh, Renee's got yeah, a bank. A Jeff. bank underneath the three or a sliver cut on the two. Yeah, he, he, but he he made a decent enough shot at it that he didn't, you know, he didn't completely sell it out. But that was beautiful. And they made a fantastic now, bank. Now here's that shot. Yeah, he made a fantastic bank here. I think I think he stops he st he stops on the three, and then he nicks the four and hides behind the five. Maybe. The only problem with that I just said mm -hmm. is you sell out a. Um, you sell out a kick combo, and you don't want to do that. You want to hit the five, four, four, and hide behind the five, but you don't want to leave a four, five straight like that. Oh, he just gave it right back to me. Yeah, him. that's not easy. It's definitely not easy, but the, he gave, the four is closer to the headrail than the five. But he gave him a shot. So he's almost got to bank the four into the five, right? Or he attempts to play some kind of a some kind of a safe, but I'm not sure what the safe is here. And Kirby says, "How important is the break and pool? It's 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 paramount." Well, okay, that that would he be, can see it. He can see would, it. He's got a shot. Renee's gonna I mean, hide underneath the be, five. That would be the safe. He tried to play. Don't scratch, dude. He scratched. Wow. He hit that so hard. He just wow. had to go like six inches. Gave him ball in hand, and it's a fairly open table. Everything's open. Everything is out in the open. Four to the five to the six on the yeah. side. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. There's, there's no trouble this here. It's like written written up on a, on a blueprint to run this out, basically. I mean, there's not a problem ball here. Everything is wide. <clears throat> This guy's a 700 Fargo. How did, how did he get let in the tournament? Well, if you if, if you look up his Fargo, his Fargo is officially listed on Fargo rate as a 604 um, currently. I, I looked it up earlier. Um, you know, people can take that as it, you know, as it is. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to say either either way. Um, scratched. Wow, he almost scratched on that. Okay, so uh, Jet wins. Jet gets it 9-8. Hill Hill. Yep. Yep, so he's probably... Was, was, that, was that the hot seat or no? Oh. Don't know if that was the hot seat or not. If it was the hot seat, he'd probably be... He... <laughs> you see... Jonathan, go go Jonathan, ahead and... Uh, Jonathan Thomas commented is he still pretending to be an APA3 <laughs> yeah I guess I don't know 
Grace Francisco, congrats, bro. <laughs> Good shooting. Shout out to Polish John. Part of, part of the bagel part of the bagel stable. Is he here? He's uh, he's Jonathan Thomas. Oh, okay. Hey, what's up, Polish John? You out? All right, JJ. It was Hasi. Hi, Sonny. Sonny. Take care, bro. What's up, you soon? Happy Happy Thanksgiving. You too, brother. I'll be watching. Okay, cool. Shalom. <laughs> Shalom. I like that. Yes. <clears throat> it's a nice little venue in, in here. Very clean. Um, the beef sandwiches and the pizza are great. Um, you know, <laughs> is, is is it the... Is it the uh, <laughs> If the purse was bell peppers, Jensi would be in it. Absolutely. That's uh, Chris. That's Chris's wife, uh, Chris Olas, and Cat. Uh, um, absolutely. If they had, you know, I haven't even asked them if they have red or green bell peppers available here. Are you over they, here? That could be a topping. They Sir. might be able to. Excuse me. They might be able to over put here? it on the pizza. I don't know. Um, I haven't even tried. I'll, I'll go over and, and ask that question just What's out your name? of curiosity. Why not? Josh Barton? B-U-R? Okay. And uh, who are you playing? Oh, this is the hot seat match here. Okay. Okay, apparently that may not have been the hot seat match. The match coming up right now might be the hot seat match. So we may have uh, misinformed you guys a little bit thinking Renee and, and Jet were playing for the hot seat. Uh, apparently that may have been the match before the hot seat match. This may be the hot seat match coming up uh, in a couple moments here. This gentleman starting to Hit a couple practice balls. Oh, she wants to write the first Calcutta Kid cookbook with you. <laughs> now that's an awesome idea. <laughs> Robert, Robert Lyde, uh, tell Mikey get me a game with Jet. Um, he's actually over standing by the bar right now. But if you really would like and you want to entertain, hey Kyle, entertain how many teams that, left? I I may be able to get that done. Hey. You really want to entertain that uh, game? Is this Robert. a hot seat? <laughs> All right, so this is the hot seat match. We're I, down I, to the final eighteen. I think I've got to go up there and ask about this bell pepper thing. I, go ahead. I, I think the people want an answer on this bell pepper situation, so I'm going to go over there and ask them if they have red or green bell peppers. I'm sure they're going to have the green peppers because you could put that on a pizza. So let me let me go find that out. I'll be right back, guys. All right, while well, Shots goes to the bar and checks out the cookbook idea. It's actually a pretty cool idea. Who doesn't like to eat? All right. So Jet is going to play for the hot seat with uh, Josh, Bart Josh Burton to race to nine. Creighton, he's trying to get that... Uh, Trying to get that gamble down.
Uh, Kirby Cage Pinkham says she came about our live stream. Um, not familiar with some terminology. What's a hot seat? So, so um, Kirby, are you familiar with a bracket like um, like a player bracket where there's eight people and eight people play and the winners advance one way and the losers advance the other direction, right? Well, as the winners go down, eight goes down to four and four goes down to two. That two are playing for what's called the hot seat. So that there's one person remaining undefeated and everybody else in the tournament has one more loss, has one loss. And so that what that, that person with no losses, which is called your hot seat, will sit there and wait until everybody plays each other, knocking each other down to one person. That one person has to come back over and beat the hot seat winner twice in a row for the championship. By the way, I've got an answer for you guys definitively on this bell pepper thing. I ran up to uh, the kitchen over here, and I happened to ask about that. And they do have green bell peppers. They do not have red or yellow, but they do have green because they make pizzas with those. So those are actually available. <laughs> just to uh, just to give you a, a heads up on that. Jason um, Allen asked what, what Jet's real name is. It's Wil Wilbert. Wilbert. We learned that his nickname was Jet, so we changed it. No, you played good, man. It was right there. Played you played really good, Renee. I mean, you had you had it, you know, to, the, the two to go hill hill with the, with him. The last game, a two ball. I couldn't believe that. To go hill hill with with Wilbert. The one in the corner hits top left. You jawed it because it came out, and then he he shot back and he he got out. Yeah, you you played you played great. I mean, the go hill hill with with Wilbert, you played you played fantastic. Jet, Jet, is that your first game? One nothing. Okay. Yeah, that was game one. Game one. So Josh, Josh goes to one. Burton goes to one. Here we go, and, and until so until one until Jet realizes he's going to start playing. <laughs> Like he did the Renee. You out? Uh, you don't need to ride home today? No, <laughs> no, we don't talk about that, remember? <laughs> and plus, I, I just no, asked no, a no, no more near death experiences. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Renee. Right, hey, eat, Renee, eat some food. Yeah, we still still sitting here staring at uh, probably a little more than a quarter of the pizza. Still left. Still. I, I had enough. It or not. Eat, eat all you want. I'm, I'm done. You know, looks like the place might be getting a little more uh, crowded. Uh, there's actually some people. So this place might might start getting busy, like, toward the 9 o'clock and after, you know, hours. Hey, Bill, I'm going to go ahead and Saturday. post the, uh, Bill, I'm going to post the uh, bracket for you. So just click on that digital pool link right there. And uh, uh, Kyle says we're down to the final eight of 39 total. 39 nice. players started. We're down to the final eight. So we should finish tonight. It's only 9.30. No, it's not. It's 10 o'clock. Just about 10 o'clock, yeah. 9.57. But, uh, yeah, I would imagine this place is open until 2 in the morning. You've got at least another four. You've got about four more hours that you could sit here and play. There's, there's no reason it shouldn't. With eight people, there's no reason it probably can't finish. Uh, for those of you who are watching still, we're over uh, 74, 75 people watching. Thank you. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Without you guys, this I cannot do what I love to do, so thank you. Wow, only 75. We broke, uh, we almost went to 90 or something. We earlier. were in the upper 80s, yeah. 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 This is this is awesome because um, I, I thought the last match was the was the hot seat match, but this is. So the winner's guaranteed second, right? The, cannot, the winner of this match... Yes. Cannot, cannot do any lo less than second place. The loser is guaranteed third. Now, you got Jason Kruger on camera here right now. Jason is still, I believe Jason is one of the eight that is still left in this tournament. That's cool. Um, Jason's actually a, a very good player. Known him for a long time. Oh, yeah. Um, had the opportunity to hang out with him uh, in Vegas in August. 
uh, for like two days uh, at night. The guy's a partier, <laughs> I'll tell you. I mean, you're talking, you know, I think the night just starts at about 5 o'clock in the morning. You know, anything that happened before that was really like the warm-up for the, for the evening. And, uh, you know, after that, toward the 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning time frame is when, you know, you really get kind of going. You know, unfor unfortunately, I, you know, Vegas isn't... Uh, isn't like it used to be because of COVID and everything that, uh, you know, the, the party sort of stops around around three or at least it gets really dead. And then you're basically just sitting at like a hotel bar that might just happen to be open, um, like at the Westgate, for, for example, because they keep that one open when that event is happening. They keep that pretty much going almost all night long. Jet wins game number two, yep. scores one to one. It's one to one. Do you want to see the beta test for the app? Sure. Why not? There's no data in here, but you're welcome to check it out. Hit, hit. Get started? Yeah. Okay, so just hit sign in. There's no, there's no data in there. Just yeah, hit okay. city, choose city. Okay. Pick a city. They're all gonna bring you the same page anyway. Just pick one. Chicago. So that's how it'll look. It'll be a uh, popular event. The, uh, the flyers for each of the popular events. Okay, so let's say I want to find Jason Kruger plays. Yes. Somewhere. Hit eight ball, nine ball. <laughs> so we go search, nine ball. Search by game. Search by game? Yes, you can do that too. Oh, search, search events? Yep, or? you can do that too. And what, I type in his name? Yeah, there's no, there's no data in there, but yes, you could do it. That's how you search so it. So you would type in like Jason? Hit done, hit done. Yeah. Okay, then hit done. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I'll like, so no, no, hit, no, hit, hit each of the links on the bottom. Hey, are we live? Each of the links. Are we live? Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Okay. Cool, yeah. huh? Pretty cool. Excellent. Map. Yeah. Map. Find my yep. map. Okay. Who's who's RSVP for the tournament? Who's paid and not paid yet? Okay. Create a tournament. For the cool. details of a tournament. Your own profile. Payment nice. methods. You can pay for your tournament. Nice. Nice, huh? Very nice. You like it? We're excited. Go ahead. The doggone girl is mine. Paul McCartney and Michael Jackson. Uh, the cue ball just leaked behind the eight, and now he hooked himself. He's got a kick. Well, he'll probably kick to the head rail. Can he see the side rail past the eight? He might hit the side rail between the 8-7 and spin it to the 6. I would hit the head rail. He's going to jump. He's only about a chalk and a half away from the 8. This is a risky jump. Let's see how good he jumps. Anybody who grabs their jump cue this quickly has got to be pretty proficient at it. Got to raise it to about 60 degrees, hit low English. Okay, ball in hand for Jet with four balls wide open. Every time I hear this song, I think of uh, Deadpool.
Dio is the most sexiest person. He is the most interesting man in the world. He's on his way home, Nick. Uh, Dio, you can hear us in the car. Nick says you are the sexiest person in the pool. This is no lie. Did you know that uh, Dio and I almost died one night leaving here? Really? We, we we just missed a three-car pileup. I mean, within inches, wow. two cars coming across the highway right at us. I don't, I don't know to this day. I don't know how we missed them. Yeah, it was the craziest thing. Everything was fine. Then one car just stops in traffic. The car behind him slams into him. Both cars are spinning. They just, I mean, they just miss us. Reminded me of the scene in, in plane. Reminded me of the scene in planes, trains, and automobiles when <laughs> Steve Martin's got his hand stuck in the dashboard. He's like, ah, ah. And that, and that happened on 57. Yeah, about uh, about 10 miles up the road here. Oh, yeah. Wow. What time? What time of night was this? Uh, two two, two thirty. Yeah. Yeah. Jet goes to two games. It's two to one already. Let's watch his break, folks. Excuse me. I'm glad we're finishing up tonight because although I'm not looking forward to packing up all this stuff and driving home late, but it sure beats the alternative of getting up early and coming back and doing it again. Trust me, I enjoy streaming, but it's nice to have a Sunday off too. You know what I mean? Excuse me. Yeah, Dio is good people. Um, I haven't known him very long, maybe only a couple of years, but. He's somebody that I could see uh, myself calling a friend. He is a good guy. He, he... Scratched. Got to hit some low, possibly right English. Get that cue ball up table. He's fairly straight here. Kirby's from Maine? Kirby, did you just ask me what the hot seat was? Yeah, you did. Kirby's from Maine. What, what city in Maine are you from, Kirby? Kirby Cage Pinkham. I was in Millinocket, Maine. And I missed Mike Duchesne by about a by about one day. What's up? Um my wife and I were in Bahaba. 
We made some friends out there. We spent the week in Bar Harbor. Uh, Cadillac Mountain, beautiful views of the ocean. Uh, our favorite cities on that trip, we spent, we were in Maine for a month. And uh, it, was, it was my retirement gift to myself and my wife and my son. My daughter and her boyfriend flew out there. We spent a week in Old Orchard Beach, a week in Freeport, Maine. We spent a week in Bar Harbor, which we loved. Then we went inland and spent uh, some time at uh, Millinocket and Greenville on uh, Lake Moosehead Lake. I loved uh, Greenville. It was pretty. Then we had a few days left. Uh, the trip was about five weeks long. Uh, rather than go back inland, which we had originally planned, we went straight south because of the curvature of the, of the country. Straight south from Greenville landed us in uh, Plymouth, uh, Massachusetts. And we rented a condo on the water. Nice shot, dude. Watch out. Um, we were about two blocks from the Mayflower, which was pretty cool, man. So I'd have to say uh, the highlight of that trip was Bar Harbor, Maine and Plymouth, Massachusetts. To Cape Cod is just gorgeous. If you guys have never been to the, to the northeast part of our country, go. Uh, but if I had to pick one city, I'm picking Bar Harbor, man. That was, that was, just, that was just cool. Bar Harbor's an island, and uh, we spent uh, a week at a... Uh, the hotel we picked was okay, but the views were just spectacular. So, Holly and I spoke, we, we would go back to the same place. Not only was the view amazing and it was a reasonable place to stay, uh, although it wasn't very expensive or uh, nicely appointed as some places you would pick, um, it was just, the people there were just amazing. And uh, we met so many nice people. It was beautiful. We, we're going back. Madison, Maine. Where's Madison, Maine? I have to look that one up. Chris Fulco. What's up, Foo? Okay, I'm back. Shots is back. Yeah, I've got one of those Edwin Acasio shirts, uh, the, the Shut Up Fool uh, shirts. Uh, so do I. I still, yeah. Mine, mine's basically pretty much brand new. I, I mean, I think I wore it once, um, and it's it's pretty much a brand new shirt. Why do they call him Potato? I don't know what the whole Potato. I'm not sure what the whole Potato thing is. <laughs> why that? Why that is? Maybe. I won't call him Potato because I don't know why. I'm, what it maybe means. Maybe his face or the shape of the he of his head or. Not exactly sure. I don't know either. Get out of here. There we go. Kirby's so, absolutely beautiful. Good people too. Bar Harbor lived. Old traditions. Yeah, it was just gorgeous. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, we didn't know this actually. Holly and I, um, we didn't know this. The tide comes and goes right I mean we know that but we never experienced it um, there's a few islands right outside of Bar Harbor and when the tide goes out people actually walk out where the water used to be it's now ground wet ground you can walk over to the first island and if you're on that island for more than six or seven hours when the tide comes back in you're stuck there till the tide goes back out, or you gotta take a boat. It's pretty cool. People wait. They'll wait for the tide to go out, and then they'll start walking out there with their bags or umbrellas or their towels or whatever, and they'll spend the day out on the island. And when the tide comes, when the tide goes back out a second time for that day, then they'll come walking back. It's pretty cool. So we got a score update here. It's three to two now. Uh, the jet is uh, winning, three to two. Thank you. I'm telling my story about me. 
Jeff. We got Jeff Jones here. Jeff Jones. Hey, Jeff. Dio says because he looks like Potato Head, Mr. Potato Head. I didn't know that. <laughs> so Jeff Jones is in the house. Uh, Jeff is getting ready, I think, to take off and leave. That counts. Did you say a? Yeah, uh, it counts. That's a win. Did you say you have a huge bar tab? That's a win. What's what's huge? Uh, How much are we talking? Three times size. <laughs> I believe Jason Kruger might be staying here overnight, possibly washing some dishes or something. Why, what happened? I'm not sure. He said he's got some kind of a huge bar tab. I'm not sure he's going to be able to pay this. Uh oh. <laughs> Edwin's on the stream. He says, shut up, fool. <laughs> yes, so I think we're. So when the place closes at, at, at 2 a.m., they may lock Jason Kruger in here, and uh, Jason can, can be here. The place will open up tomorrow. I mean, he'll be fine if he stays in here. Maybe he can get some stuff done <laughs> if he can't pay the tab. He's still, he's still playing, actually, so I believe he's, uh, he's hanging in there. He's still in, in the tournament. I believe he's one of the final eight players, like I said earlier. So he's he's doing pretty good. <laughs> Are we three to three to three now? Yes. Huh? I didn't even I didn't even see that last rack. It must have been a run out or something. It must have been pretty uh, he, quick. He made the nine ball on the break. Oh, he made the nine on the break. Down okay. here. Okay. Nine ball on the break doesn't count the bottom two pockets, but it counts over here. Yes, it does. You know, not much you can do about a nine ball break, especially if it's counted right. break. You can't do a whole lot about that. Now, there are some people that are playing pool up in the front of the place, where the front door of the place is. Um, outside people from the street. So, I mean, it's not like everything happening in here is tournament but the majority of what's going on in here today is the tournament the business that's happening is the tournament all right game is conceded yep four three Jack gives him that game Josh gets the first win uh, first time he's leading this match yep I think that's correct yes Action tables are still going. Chia Estrada is still in the room. Jaime Magdaleno, Pete Wilson, Jaime and Pete are playing each other. I think they're gambling against one another. Uh, Chia is walking around at the moment, so he's not in any kind of action at the moment. A um, couple other people may be playing. I think Louise Carrion is up in the front area of the place and I think he's got an action game that's currently going on so I think Louise is in action at the moment wow he's he got just, a good break he just had a the one is like dead perfect I mean and he just probably either draws a little or oh uh, Creighton's saying that Josh ran the first rack so so this is the second time he had the lead I okay. didn't uh I don't remember. I don't remember. Let's draw on this or just goes forward and gets a shot at the two. Four's right. next, but the four goes yeah. in the the four goes in the bottom left corner past the, the eight. Yeah, so it sure does. He may just draw it up to the center table. He might. Nope. He looks like he's just playing it either all the way down or he's pretty straight now. What's he gonna do with the six? Yeah. The force it in. Out, he's going to the side. He's going. Right, he down. forced it in, and that, my friend, is called. Well, that's a mistake. Cut induced throw. Yeah, when you when you play a player of Wilbert's, the Jets' caliber, you can't really do that because that could be a swing of an entire match, possibly in just one rack, as we saw what happened with Renee. 
And that could be the swing right here if he runs this out. If you guys like what you're watching here tonight, hit that share button, send it out to your friends and family, let them know you're watching some pool. Maybe we'll get some more fans. Plus, you'll, you'll, uh, you'll help our view count. Thank you. Yeah, and I think unless Jet falls over and has a, hits his head on the pool table and has a concussion here, he's got this eight very easy, so it's really just getting with this nine ball. Uh, he could actually just get, you know, four, four right here, tie it up. He hit it a little bit soft. He's, he's got it, though. He's got a shot. I think he would have wanted it to roll. Yeah, that's not a hard shot, though. Roll another, you know, half a foot, you know. But I think he's he's fine. Tie game again. Yep. Four to four. Kind of surprised Jeff Jones didn't play in this, but I haven't looked up his Fargo. I'm going to guess he's probably above a 625, but. can kick this cue ball two rails come in behind the three and make the three nine. Oh wow or you could just make a nice easy three ball in the corner pocket just like that little bottom left they'll bring him out two rails in the center of the table for the five no, slow down slow down actually Jeff I think could have played in this tournament I'm looking him up I don't see any Jeff that's higher than like a 600-ish. So I think he could have. Maybe he just had other things happening today and he couldn't really afford the time to play. <coughs> but he himself is a really strong, good player. Could have had a very good chance in this event. And it's and it's six thousand dollars potentially for first place. All right, so uh He made the seven. He made that seven. That was unbelievable. Slow down. Slow down. Gee whiz. He's got to back cut this ball now. He's like, no problem. Watch this. All right, so now it's 5-4. Yep. Who do you like in this match so far? 
It's pretty neck and neck, actually. If you were gonna, if you were gonna, if you were, you know, gambling's illegal, of course. But if you were gonna bet on somebody, who would you pick? I think I got to go with Jet. Um, if I were gonna bet, who would you go with, John? Honestly, they play so close. I wouldn't bet on either one. I think this is gonna go hill hill, just like Renee's match did. It's a good possibility. It's on that pace. Hey, it's about what was Kyle, happening with Renee's match. Actually, I think Renee was a was a, ahead at one a point. Finals or no? It is double dip. All right, so I got confirmation from Kyle that this is a true finals, which means that whoever ends up in the hot seat will have to be beaten twice to, <laughs> to lose first place. Yep. I see Jeff Jones with a pull cue, so I don't believe he's actually leaving. I think he's actually going to get on the table and practice a little bit and play a little. Jake Krug is, uh, he's playing Dio over there. I mean, uh, Chia. Oh, he's playing Chia? Yeah. Isn't, is Kruger still in the tournament? I think they're just, uh, I think. <laughs> I, I think, that, uh, yeah, maybe they're, maybe they're, maybe Jason's waiting for a match or something. Um, I think Jason is still, he's still in because I thought when I asked him what happened with his last match, he looked at me cross-eyed and he said, what do you think? And I said, you probably won. <laughs> so, how's he doing? Still in, Kruger? Yeah, this is the hot seat. Josh Burton and Wil uh, Wilbert Francisco. Down here is the... Eli Holt. Eli... Eli Hasbro, Michael Almodovar. That's who's playing over there, Eli and Michael. Yes, that's correct. And Jason and Brett Snowden. Yeah, they're they're playing. Now wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on a they, second. They didn't here. play. They didn't play yet. Why do we have Jason Kruger as a six thirty two? Is that the Fargo? Yeah. I thought this is a 625 and under. You're right. I don't know. How is that possible? Good question. Can we confirm that that Fargo is correct? Hey, Kyle. But he's only a 363 robustness. What's that 531? He's a 633. Before he signed up, he was a 621. He was paid to sign up. Oh. Okay. So that's what someone said. If you sign up and you're locked in and you go up, it doesn't hurt you. Okay. All right, thank you. He was uh, he was paid up when he signed up. He, he paid. He was under six twenty five. Now he's six thirty two, six thirty three, or whatever. And uh, it doesn't hurt him. Okay, that's all that matters. Yeah. Right. Right.
not looking to get anybody in trouble, but I was looking at the bracket and I saw 632. No, I hear you. Written yeah. down, and I'm like, whoa, wait a minute, uh, aren't we playing in the 625 and under? That's what Travis Barnard says. Uh, signed up when he was lower, so got locked in, and then went up since. The deal goes busted. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> So Josh won that one, right? So it's 6-4? Yes, it is 6-4. Wow, Jet needs to needs to uh, wake up here and do something pretty quick. It's down 6-4. to four. I'm gonna grab my, my cell phone charger. What do you need, an iPhone? No, uh, I've got an Android. Okay. Uh, USB C. Why do you got what, one? What's a C? Got one sitting here. Is it the oval one? Uh, Check that cord. This cord? Yeah. Yeah, that might work. Right, so we're going to watch Josh go airborne here. Yep. <laughs> going to be jumping over this nine to try and get a shot at this one ball. Wow. Threw the cue ball off the table, but the one almost went in the corner. Had enough of a hit at it. Crazy. Just threw it off the table. What's up, Matt Franzen? What's going on, buddy? How you doing? Yes, he's doing great. Shot a bunch of. That's awesome. I uh, I wish I shot a bunch yesterday. Nice. Pretty soon you'll be spotting me, right? Oh, gotta stand up and stretch the legs. Oh. Tell you, I'm not really looking forward to that 70, about 74 mile drive I've got to get home uh, from here. I'm definitely not around the around the corner. <laughs> uh, how far is it back home for me? Let's see. I'm in the Park Ridge, Niles, Desplaines, Morton Grove, Skokie, Evanston, Glenview area. I'm I'm actually in Niles. I'm I'm right near Lutheran General Hospital. Um, Goff Mill Mall, not too far away from from those. Uh, 40, 46 miles, and it's about a it's about a seven, little over a seventy mile drive for me to get to get back from here. It's basically like driving to the Carom Room in Beloit, Wisconsin, practically. I think the Carom Room for me would be about ten miles further than this was. But I knew as soon as I started to pass Mantino, I said, "Oh, I've been to chalk it up." Played in a couple tournaments over, you know, over there at Chalk It Up Billiards um, about a year, a little over a year back. Uh, last one I played in, Polish John ended up winning that tournament. Shout out to to Jonathan Thomas. 
that was an open event. Um, he actually beat Ike Reynolds. Ike Reynolds ended up taking second. So he beat Ike Reynolds in the finals. And by the way, Wilbert Francisco, or the Jet, was actually in that tournament as well. And actually nice. played in that, in that tournament in Mantino. Um, Nivet Michael, um, who, okay, so last week at Chris's, uh, or last weekend, there was a tournament uh, that was eight ball, and it came down to uh, three people, uh, first, second, third. So Tom McCluskey ended up getting first place. Eddie Balderas got second place. Um, and Eddie Balderas actually beat this kid out of St. Louis. His name is Ricky Evans. He's a 20-year-old kid who's already a 725 on the Fargo. And you guys can have that sausage, too. Probably is going to be That's like... That's my pizza. I'm not going to eat it. You can have that, too. Probably is going to be like the next Tyler Steyer or something of that nature. This kid just doesn't miss... This Ricky Evans doesn't miss a ball. Um, Eddie got really... Eddie was shooting fantastic. Eight ball got, got pretty lucky. Got a good roll on one game to pull ahead and ended up beating this kid. Uh, but this kid plays like lights out. Supposedly, the story goes, he plays out of a place called Teachers in St. Louis. It's the place that Justin Bergman uh, plays out of. So Justin Bergman was actually his coach. That's who taught him how to play pool. Uh, that's how he's over a 700 Fargo at the age of 20. And of course, Tom McCluskey won won the entire event. Um, I don't I don't even want to go there, but I was there for the Calcutta. Me and me and Tom almost got into a bidding. Tom bought himself in the in the Calcutta, so he was the first blind bid. Myself and Tom almost got into a bidding war with one another, and uh, I don't know how the story goes. My, myself and Tom don't seem to get along all that all that well these days when it comes to uh, pool and I think it goes back to a tournament that happened in Beloit that I was at and uh, I bought the um, for, I outbid him on the blind bid and I got a gentleman named Gerson Martinez Boza that ended up winning the entire tournament that day and ended up making me I think he made me a couple thousand dollars on that on that tournament um, actually and, and Tom got upset I believe that I beat him out of the bid well this is a Cal Calcutta in Beloit Wisconsin and the idea of a Calcutta is you're bidding on the players and you are supposed to outbid people uh, I don't care you know it it's what it is you're supposed to win that bid that's the whole idea of an auction basically um, you know, and that's how that that's how that goes. Uh, just to give you a little explanation of that. But anyway, Tom Tom won the tournament. Uh, I did not buy the blind bid. Uh, there were probably reasons behind that. You know that I didn't buy the blind. Uh, not because of money, because uh, that's what Tom would have you believe that I just didn't want to spend money. Um, if anybody knows me, I spend more money than anybody else ever does on anything, including feeding people, being generous with people, etc. I've literally bought entire bars, pizzas, and had them delivered in while tournaments were going on and literally fed 30, 40, 50 people. And anybody that's on this broadcast that knows me that can vouch for that. Well, we're talking about a Calcutta Anthony that happened in Beloit, in Beloit, Wisconsin, uh, and I believe they're they're legal up there. The Karen Room's been doing those Calcuttas for years. You know, I don't think there's any problem with that. I mean, I don't think they try and hide it, hide it, or have any you know secrets about it up there in Beloit, Wisconsin. Um, they've got gaming machines, and I don't think they have any issues uh, with that. You know, they have tournaments at least you know once a month you know, once every two months, whatever, and they do big auctions over there. So I don't think there's a problem at the Karen Room. 
But any that's and that's what I was referring to. And as far as Chris is having an auction, Chris's billiards does not have gaming, and they don't have a liquor license. It is <laughs> bring your own alcohol or bring your own BYOB, bring your own beer, or however you'd want to say it at Chris's billiards. Wow, that was a nice bank. I don't know if he if he got stuck on this seven ball, but that was Josh at the table. Just made a really nice bank, but Josh is winning six to five, but I believe there was a little bit of a swing there. Uh, Jet was down six to four, and uh, this could cost Josh right here because that ball is gonna, oh. he's, he, well, he's got an edge of that ball. I mean, I don't know wow. if he can do anything with this, but he can see the edge of that ball, that seven. Uh, even if he just needs to play a safe, but I believe he can actually hit enough of that ball. He could back cut that in that back corner. I had a shot like this in a game the other day, and I literally cut it and, and on a seven-foot diamond, and I hung it and rattled the ball right in the pocket. But I hit it really good, and uh, I had about that much of the ball that I could actually see, and I was able to back cut that. legs are falling asleep. I, I need to stand up for a minute. <laughs> Listen to this music that we got going here. Uh, I think there might be one or two girls in the place now that may not have been. Oh, Jet, uh, Wilbert hit that bad. He hit the eight ball. But I truly think he, if he would have hit that, you know, I think he had enough. That's about what I had when I made my shot, and I actually hit mine good. And uh, I literally should have made the ball. I mean, it literally did one of those bobbles in the in the pocket where it was literally banging against the nipples, uh, and then just like froze and stayed right on the edge. Yeah, Josh ends up ends up winning that game. So now it's seven to five. Now that could be that could be big. Right there, that could have been six. That could have been six six. Um, Robert, uh, I don't know, I do not know if they ended up getting that carpet fixed. So Robert Lade is the backer of Ricky Evans out of St. Louis, uh, for those that don't know. So you see Robert in the chat here. So Robert actually travels around with Ricky who is the gentleman that took third? He's the 20-year-old that has the 725 Fargo rating or or even higher and uh, shoots lights out, you know. Um, so they had a little glitch with some about eight squares of carpeting. Um, Robert, what I can tell you is, is that uh, I talked to Hector, which was the guy that you met, that was the guy that actually did the work, and he was the one that told you he pretty much did that work for free. On the entire, you know, Chris has built about 17, 18,000 square feet of carpeting. Um, there were about eight squares of carpet that were kind of coming up that we noticed uh, in the room with the bar tables when we were playing at Chris's. And all they really need to be is glued back down and they'll be fine. Uh, Robert actually happens to own his own flooring company 
and noticed the problem and basically, you know, made suggestions about how to fix it, like right then and there, and what needed to be done. Um, and as far as I knew, he was supposed to, Robert, he was supposed to do this like that very next, I think the very next day. He wasn't going to do it that day because it, you know, the tournament, you know, had to finish and, you know, that kind of thing. And so I don't think he was going to do it that day, but he was definitely going to do it, I believe, you know, on Monday. Uh, I can check and I can find out. Um, I'll send you a text, uh, Robert, because I've got, I've got your phone number. I'll give you, I'll give you a text. Okay, hey guys, I'm back. Okay, so we're at a point where uh, Jet won that last game. Um, so that kind of swung it a little. Now we're at 7-6 here. Uh, and he's got a he's got a kind of open table here. And he's going to do this 3-4 combination in the back uh, corner. And he hit that like perfect. He hit that very soft so that... He's still going to be able to try and maybe get out and have a shot at the six ball. Um, I believe that six, he's looking at it. I believe it might go past that seven ball. know exactly what what he was attempting there unfortunately I think when he hits this uh, six he may move that seven but that seven lined up as a combo with that nine ball it looked like dead perfect but uh, yeah he was gonna bump that seven. I mean I was pretty sure he's gonna bump into that seven but this is kind of interesting. That nine ball is still fairly close to that pocket. Yeah, this might get a little. This might get a little more interesting here. What's going on, Renee? You still in? Wow. Look at that shot by Wilbert Francisco. I thought he was possibly looking at a combo with that nine ball. He just went right by it and and made an excellent shot. We got him in the cup, but I can't beat him, you know? It's just like...
Uh, I turned the sound down, Kirby. Uh, we had a little powwow there. We had a you know, something so we cannot say on on the air. And when we get to the points of the conversations, then uh, we have to turn the volume down. Otherwise, we get in trouble. So uh, yeah, we had me and Shots had to say something to each other, and we just turned the volume down. That's all. By the way, thank thank you for the. Thank you for the drink, uh, John. There you go, brother. A little bit of Tito's and cranberry. A little dark beer for me. Ooh. Watch out, that thing's in my way. Ooh. Okay. Look at this. I, but I don't think this really can go as anything, but he's going to give it a shot. I can see him looking at it. It's the 2 9. Hell yeah, he's going to shoot it. It's a possible combo here. He's going to hit this 2 9 combo for the 9 ball to yep. win. Yep. Now that puts him on the hill. That's smart. And he breaks. It was very smart. 8 7. If he, if he missed it, it wouldn't have been smart. <laughs> no, it would not have. Probably would it's have only smart up. if he makes the shot. Probably would have left that ball right in the corner. Yeah. Like sitting there dead as a sitting duck. So I have to I have to Jack. make a shout out here for uh, Kirby Cage Pinkham. Uh, she, right? You're you're a female? You you uh, you're from Maine. You just you just found us by accident <laughs> and uh, started watching pool. Hey, I, I see somebody made a uh, comment there about Coke about Coke no ice. Yeah. <laughs> Does somebody know me cuz I all the time when I order a Coke I drink Coke with no ice. <laughs> it was almost yeah. going to be the last Masters team that I was trying to throw together, which would have included Polish John. We were going to call the team. The team name was going to be Team Coke No Ice. No lie. We were going to go from the bagel. We were going to change it up from the bagel stable to Team Coke No Ice. Oh. <laughs> so I was wondering. I saw that in the chat about the Coke with no ice. I was wondering if somebody knew. So let, let me ask. Let me ask uh, about that. Kirby this question here. Um, how did you find us, and do you play pool at all, Kirby Cage Pinkham? How did you find us, and do you play pool at all? We got somebody asking where Jet is from. So Jet, Jet, I believe, is from the Philippines. And from the Philippines, I don't say the H. Yes. Philippines. I don't want to. I don't know the entire um, Jet story, but I've heard some talk. You know, there's good players in the Philippines, and people could be training underneath some of these good players. There's some real talented, sure, 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 talented sure. guys out there, like Dennis Orcolo, or Kayo. You know. Or Arcolio or Arcayo. Arcayo. Thank you. Okay, Arcayo. Is it jalapeno uh, or jalapeno? There's, there's Jeffrey De Luna. There's uh, some other, you know, really good, you know, really good players out there, and you know, it's just like I ran into this, uh, you know, this kid that I've never met before last week at Chris's. This Ricky Evans, who's 20 years old, and this guy's. This guy's going to be like a 750 on the Fargo before you even know what's going well, going on, probably before he's 25. So that's why I said it's like another Tyler Steyer. You think he's better than uh, Vitaly? I thought he was – I honestly thought he was going to beat everybody and take that whole tournament, including Tom McCluskey. The problem, I think, really was when it kind of came down to it, and this is no – Thanks, Kirby. Uh, Thank you. No offense to him. Uh, I know Robert's listening. Maybe even Ricky might be looking at this uh, stream. I, I don't think so. But um, I think it's just a little bit of age and, and experience. Tom McCluskey's been playing pool probably oh, yeah. longer than Ricky. You know, Ricky Evans has been alive. It's a little bit of maturity, a little bit of seasoning, a little bit of... So can I tell you my Tom McCluskey story? Sure. I, I may have said this on the air before. Uh, back in 2007... I brought my daughter. She was just learning how to play pool. She's 31 now. She was just a 14 or 15 at the time. I think she was 14. Uh, okay. J January of 2007. Okay. It's the Windy City Open Bob Romano's tournament at uh, Pheasant Run in, in St. Charles. Yep. Um, I I get there. I bring I bring Matt Forrest, one of my students, and I bring my daughter. Okay. Matt's about 19 and Amber's 14. 
okay? They, I looked I looked a little funny on camera because I just saw what Jet did on that shot. He made sorry for the interruption, John. He made that seven ball and bumped into the eight and knocked it toward the side rail, if you can believe it. And Josh is on the hill. But go ahead, John. Finish no. your story. So uh, Jeanette Lee shows up with her entourage and they're doing this this this, this um, exhibition thing where for twenty bucks you get to play a game of nine ball with Jeanette Lee and 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 uh, you know basically you. You break and run till you can't make any more. Then she runs a mountain. You get your picture taken. So it's yes. yes. Four, four and a half hours, she hasn't won, lost one game. I believe it. I've seen her. My daughter and, My and, daughter plays her. Uh-huh. And beat her? And, and beats her. There's th- <laughs> 300 people watching my daughter play Jeanette Lee. <laughs> That's awesome. And there's awesome. like six watching Tom McCluskey play for the finals uh-huh. on the very next table over. <laughs> when Amber beats Jeanette Lee, the entire 300 people erupt in a roar nice. and Tom turns around like what the hell and all he does is he puts his stick down and he claps for my daughter you know he could have he could have turned it sideways and said sure he could have he could have been upset about being uh, interrupted during a shot sure but he handled that like a true gentleman so I'll always remember that about Tom uh, I'll, I'll give him that yeah um, good, good, he, guy. He, good guy he plays with professional with professionalism oh all my of, god oh my god was that a nice Shot. This guy, this he, guy's on fire. Wow, he just like he just cut that ball like a Ginsu knife, you know, cutting through. He's got the one, red. More to, I mean, one more to make. One more wow. to make. One more to make. I mean, there wasn't anything over with. That wasn't anything that you wow. know, Jet or Wilbur could have done, you know. There, I mean, he he made a shot. Josh Burton is your uh, champ over Jet Francisco nine seven for the hot seat. For the hot seat, that's yep. true. That's true. If you guys want to snap wow. that screenshot, go right ahead. Yeah, man, that was, he made two just delicious cuts. That was a phenomenal cut on that on that eight ball. That was nice. I was just telling Josh, he was actually standing right up here near us, that that was a phenomenal cut on that eight ball. I don't know who we're watching. Do you know who this guy is? Oh, Janelle. That's Janelle. And Janelle's playing Eli. Yes, correct. Janelle happens to work at uh, 63rd Street uh, Billiards in, in Downers Grove. Oh, okay. Um, so that's where most of you guys have probably seen him, the gentleman that's shooting right now. Wow. Oh, he dogged that bad. Oh, my goodness, he did. But look and at this. Safe. He got a roll. <laughs> he got a roll on that ball. It went right behind the seven on that table over there. So he's leaving Eli. That's an impossible shot. I mean, like, the only way you're hitting that is coming from behind and hitting into that hitting into that ball probably. You hit that, you're probably going to scratch. Hey, Kyle. Make a hit at that. Do I have anybody or no? Are they starting right now? Aren't they starting right now? Oh, okay. <coughs> oh, five, five. Okay. All right. Well, uh, Eli and, and uh, Janelle, and then we have uh, table one, which is over here. Is that still Jason? Is Jason Kruger still shooting on that table? Yeah. Or? I believe Jason Kruger's in that match. Well, you know what I'll do? I'll just come out a little bit like this. Oh, I went the wrong way. So I, I believe Jason is involved in that uh, match. Jason. That's Snowden. Yeah. Snowden, the yellow shirt. Yep. What if I do that and leave both tables there? Yeah, you could do that. That looks okay. That looks pretty good. There's Jason Kruger coming to, coming to the table on table number one, the first table. Brandon Pearson says it's two to one, Eli.
Hold on, I'm trying to get the colors right here. Now let me bring the uh, brightness down. That's actually not bad. Well, I don't have scores for you guys, so I'm going to leave this, this like this and uh, just erase the scoreboard. people from from off the street playing now in in the room because some of the tables have um, become open or loosened or loosened up uh, with the being the final couple people left in the tournament we have nobody for our table right now so enjoy the stream yep uh, that's it we have nothing coming on nope not really. Um, just watch these two guys play. These four tables. Excuse me. These four guys on two tables. Yep. Yep. You've got Janelle shooting on, on the one table here on table two against Eli. And you've got, is that Brett Snowden shooting against Jason Kruger? I'm not sure. Table one. get away from that washout. That's terrible. What did this building used to be? Like, I see a garage door over there. Was this like some kind of a... Why would this look like it might have been like some kind of a fact? Oh, uh, good question. I have no idea. Like, something you'd almost think... Some kind of a, a place where they would have been doing work, but maybe they could pull trucks in and out of here, or, or a truck or two, or unless that was like a loading, unless that was supposed to be like a loading dock.
Yeah, me too, buddy. How many teams left?
All right, so we had a little break there um, while we're waiting for other tables to finish up. Me and Shot just played a couple games of pool there on table three, that table right there. Now we have Jason Kruger coming over to play. Um, hey, Kyle. Jason Kruger. Are, are you playing Jason? Are you going to play Jason? Last call on table three. Last call. Sorry for yelling in the microphone there. We had a player that wasn't, <laughs> wasn't coming to the table, so we had to call last call to get him over here. Uh, Jason Kruger versus Renee Carrion. 60 people watching. I apologize to each and every one of you for screaming in the microphone. Oh, oh, dude, this is expensive stuff. Please don't mess this up. Just give me a second. You guys are super weird. No, no, no. The whole thing moved, right? It moved, right? No. Watch. I didn't do nothing. Okay, okay, okay. Super weird. <laughs> <laughs> you get, you're like, not you, you're cool. 
table? Like the whole table? Yeah, I, I knew the whole thing moved. All right, Don, I tried, man. I tried. Yeah, this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be a character here match. This will uh, be an interesting match the, here. The Jason most, Kruger versus Renee Carrion. The most super quiet guy versus uh, not one of the most super quiet guys. All right, so. Uh, Where's Renee? Renee is back, back there, waiting for the bathroom. I think. Oh, Possibly. I see. Okay, okay. I don't know. He might be. And Kruger's up here. Uh, I don't know what he's doing, but uh, they should be getting ready to play. I would say there shouldn't be too much of a delay here. If they're if they're up, they're up. Oh, tell uh, Bobby. Bobby, which one's Bobby? The one with the, the hair bun. Oh, okay. Hey, Renee. Just use your... Oh, it's baño. This one. Yeah, go ahead. What's he doing? He's got it. I thought Renee's using the bathroom. All right, well, we got both players at the table, so here, that's the start. You're cold? I don't know, Anthony Mullins. Uh, Wilbur got uh, beat by Josh. What's that, what was his name? Josh Burton?
Okay, guys, any moment now, this match might actually start. I think we're waiting for you, buddy. Yeah, we're waiting. F yeah, right, right now. For what? You need money? I'll give you a pen. <laughs> hey, otherwise I gotta cut the stream off and go home. Oh, he didn't like to hear that. Is he feeling okay today? I, mean, like, I have no idea. All of a sudden, he's acting a little bit weird, weirder than he normally would. Like, let's just start the match. I mean, I don't. I don't know if he's. Uh, the issue. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm not gonna say anything on the air. Yeah. Um. I don't know if he, Matt, I'm, I'm not sure if he always gets into it with Zavala, but I know he did one time. Yes, he did at one point in time. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, Anthony, I see that comment about uh, can't believe nobody knows. I've been ready. <laughs> All right, Jason Kruger to break finally. We're going to get underway. Uh, Jake Krug versus Renee Carrion. Here we go. Game one. I don't know, Matt. We're not commenting on that last comment I saw you type in. I've known this guy for... A long, long Three, time. Six, nine. Open table. He's actually a pretty cool guy if you if you really know him. You won't wait on me, John. Let the fans know. <laughs> now I think we see what the problem here is. The, pro the problem's got two got two legs, a, a decent looking butt, and and uh, and right. a pretty decent top, pretty decent top half too. Right, let's, <laughs> let's let's not make this vulgar. Let's keep this PG. Let's let's do that. Thirteen. Or What's up, Brian? How are you, Brian? <laughs> let's get this PG thirteen or I don't know. We could go right to like rated R or you know. No. No, we can't. <laughs> I think we see what's happening here, though. Uh, Jay Kruger might be a little distracted in this match, possibly. But he better get his head into the game because Renee played Jet just a little while ago and took Jet right to the hill. Yeah. So he better get his mind on, on the game if he's thinking about still being in this tournament. Hey Jake, come on! Fucking tables gonna break. Tables moving, bro. I don't know if it's gonna break or not. I got all my stuff on here. Thank you. It's not. Look, look. It's not real stable. Kinda. That's an understatement. I I'll be surprised if he gets through this these, uh, this race. Renee, better win, man. Yeah, Don, uh, welcome. Glad to be there. Thank you. I'm going to try to stream the entire match. Um, if uh, 
If it gets to be where my equipment is in jeopardy, uh, shots, I'm going to have to pack up and go. Okay. Uh, I think the equipment's okay for the moment. So you got Jason trying to shoot at this one ball here in the corner. And he rattled the ball. Did he stick him with that nine? Might have. Yeah, believe it or not, he got him at least to the point where he couldn't make it. He got a hit at the ball and it hung up in the corner. That was a nice shot. That was a nice shot. Uh, Eric is asking why my equipment would be in jeopardy. And the answer is uh, we're on a wooden table here that's not exactly the most solid. And he keeps coming over to want to talk and lean his whole body weight on it. And it looks like it's going to fall over. Look, look how weak this is. Look, watch. Yeah, I see it. When you're just trying to shake it a little, like see the whole table moving. I mean, so, I mean, whole entire table's moving around. Just the one camera alone is over $3,000, and I don't want to. My laptop was almost five. So, it's expensive equipment. I don't want to jeopardize my. I mean, I have to replace it. If something happens to it, he's not going to pay it. Have it replaced. Right. And you're right. When when he sobers, uh, one of the best guys. I've, I've, I've never had a problem with him. We actually get along pretty well. But uh, we all have that ability to uh, act a certain way when we overserve ourselves, right? Yeah, I can see he's. I, get, I, I've he's, been there. I've he's been there. Getting a little tipsy though. He's he's missing some shots that he would normally make. Um, now Renee. Has not really been drinking, so Renee just got. Oh my God! He just got bad on that ball, but he made a fantastic <laughs> kick at that what three. What a kick! He made a fantastic kick at that three. And he ended up getting bad at the ball, but and unfortunately, I think he's gotten bad on this five. But he's behind the he's behind the eight ball, unfortunately. But again, he comes up with at least a good came up with at least a good. Oh, yeah. he hooked the money. Yeah, Eric, uh, I agree. A sign would be nice, but honestly, I don't think he's going to read a sign right now. Uh, but I would just like, you know, respect other people's property. We'd be fine, but um, he's, he's past that, I think. But I'll stay here as long as uh, he respects our, our space. Gets rowdy here on Saturday nights, huh? A little, a little bit. I mean, getting loud over in the corner. I don't even know who's making that noise. I'm not sure who's actually making that. I mean, there's a few people off the off the street in here, but uh, I mean, real. I mean, really. Uh, what do you say? The majority of the people here are tournament people. The business that's in here right now are tournament people. Most of it.
Jason, take a bathroom break? Yeah. I don't know. He's got a interesting shot that he's going to have to try to come up with here. He's stuck behind this eight ball. Cue ball's pretty much laying on the right on the eight ball practically. If not, it is on it. I think we're down to a uh, final four or five people uh, torture you. Yeah, I agree, Robert. My bad about He was talking to the camera. He doesn't know. And there's no microphone on he, that. He camera. doesn't know there's no microphone on the camera. So, <laughs> what was he saying? He's got a hundred and eighty dollar bar tab or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How many players are left? I think we may be getting down toward the final four here. Four or five, yeah. Yeah, four or five. Got to be left. That's it. Oh, he made a nice kick. I mean, I give him credit there. He made a kick. I give him, cre I give him credit. Nice kick. Oh, my God. I still want to shift in the fucking fans. You know what I mean? Because I support the bar. Okay, Jason wants everybody to know that he supports the place that he plays at. His bar tab's about 180 bucks tonight, so he's spending. He's spending. He, he some doesn't money know in that there. there's no camera on. Uh, there's, no there's no microphone, no on, microphone the camera. on the camera. He just. He just <laughs> it's like a silent film. It's yes. The, it's the Charlie Chaplin, Jason Kruger <laughs> silent film. <laughs> he's just talking to the camera. <laughs> What's he saying? We don't know. That's just it. We don't know. Yeah, it's not worth uh, me turning up the volume, Nick. <laughs> Come on, Jason, it's time to shoot. <coughs> no, I don't think it's $2 drafts as somebody is. Uh, no. Uh, torture you is making these comments. <laughs> no. Was. No, I don't think so. He if wants it, me to put a mic on him. No. If it were two, yeah. If it were, uh, if it were two dollar drafts, he'd be, uh, he'd be more. He'd be like, huh? More than half in the. Oh, well, you more got more than your time. Okay. You got more than your time. Hey, Kyle, I'm gonna have to leave, bro. Nice shot. Hey, Eric. Yeah, we're going to have a uh, good time in December, right? Uh, I talked to Bobby here, and she's excited about the, uh, the Christmas tournament between Chalk It Up and Bradley Billiard Club on the 16th and 17th. I don't know how that works out, how we're going to get the uh, streams at both places. I'll talk to Jimmy uh, more after this weekend. Um, I think if uh,
One zero. Yeah, we got it. One zero, Jason. with a great leave. He had to kick at that ball. Um, he did. He made a hit. But he actually left a fairly open table here for Renee. <coughs> Renee will probably get out of this rack here. So it's probably going to be one-to-one -one here. More than likely. the issue what is the issue with Jason Kruger So now Jason's in a heated conversation with one of the guys at the tournament desk. Jason was asked to uh, play pool more and uh, not lollygag. <clears throat> What's up, Donnie Lawson? How are you? Yeah, I think so. Thanks, Don. I appreciate it. Hey, uh, Jimmy was trying to get a hold of you, Don, uh, about a possible uh, sponsorship. Uh, maybe you and your wife, the author. I think we talked a little bit in, uh, in East Moline about this. So uh, reach out to me or Jimmy uh, sometime at your earliest convenience. Yeah, they, they, they're going to they're gonna have, end up doing that, I think. Uh, that, that's the road it's going down. Folks, for the language that's being used, uh, I have a feeling this is a uh, this is the result of long hours of overindulgement and personality conflicts. I, uh, f for the good of the sport, if this does continue, I'm afraid 
I'll either mute the stream or I'll cut it off and just pack up and go. I, I hate to do that because I want you all to... You've been with me all day. I've got uh, almost 90 people here. You've been with me all day long. I want, I want you guys to watch the end of the tournament. It's not fair to Renee. There he goes. He goes back over to the tournament desk. Have some more words. All right, I'm gonna, uh, for the good of the stream, I'm gonna turn the microphone down because language has gotten to a point where it's no longer productive to a good streaming environment. Oh, we come back over. Hold on. Oh my God. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna turn the uh, turn the camera over there. No, Michelle, that's not what we want to provide to you at home. Uh, we're all adults. Language as long as it's not directed negatively. Oh well, here we go. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh hey, what's up, John Allen? Oh boy. You know he he certainly. Uh, Provide some uh, entertaining value here. Hey, Renee. Renee, just go walk so you can shoot. Just go walk. Let him shoot. <laughs> he says, I can't believe if he's, <laughs> he's going to have to be striped and solid. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, my God. Uh, we're 85 people watching. Eighty-five people watching, and uh, this is incredible. No, it's on. You want me to shut it off? All right, folks, I got to shut the stream off. I'm sorry.
Kyle's uh, asked me to shut the stream off. So, uh, I'm just going to do this for now. Um, this might be a, a stall tactic. Hold on. I'm just going to leave it like this so I can have a conversation. Uh, Jason just took an envelope from Kyle and... Leave it here for a minute and find out what happens over there. Jason's taking stick apart. So, are you? Uh, what about you? <laughs> yeah. It almost did, Brett. It almost did. All he had to do was just shoot his match, uh, not shoot his mouth. I'm going to wait here for a minute. I think they may uh, wait till he leaves and continue the bracket. We'll see what happens. Okay. All right. We'll talk, we'll talk later. No, we're not. I don't know. I don't, I don't know exactly what happened. I mean, I know when he's over there talking to those guys and yelling and screaming at them, that's not going to go well. They're going to tell him to get out. All right, Jason is walking out the door. Has he paid his tab? I don't know. No, I bet she did. She's going after him. Nope, she's going after him for the bar tab. We're going to wait here for a moment, and uh, are you going to play the next match? Huh? Hopefully it's here. Trying to sit there and talk to that girl, and after that, he had like a mental breakdown. I mean, 
but the girl, forget it, you're in the middle of the tournament. Tell the, tell the girl, give you the phone, give the phone number, and you'll call her later. Uh, so, um, the best I can tell, Jason Kruger got drunk and he started the fight with, uh, oh, watch the camera. Oh, that's okay. Um, uh, normally a really good guy. I've known him for a long time. Normally a really good guy. I don't know what I don't know what that was. Yeah, I'm not really sure. It was more than. I've known I, Jason Kruger for probably like 20 years. Uh oh, they're coming to police. Uh oh. I'm not sure what that was or what's going on. Well, I think what I'll do is uh, truly and that is no what's that no, no, not at all. Uh, he, we're partners. Yeah, no, he moved to Oklahoma, and he's uh, part of the uh, the technical part of the company now. I do, I do the streaming. We talk, we text every day almost, but we talk uh, Zoom uh, once a week. I thought you meant about this. Oh, okay, okay. Tulsa, yeah, yeah. Uh, guys, it wasn't. I don't. Yeah, I wish him luck. He, he seems happy a, and he, he's comfortable out there. So in the spring, I think I'll jump on a motorcycle and take a ride out there and visit him, spend a couple days with him and his wife. Um, yeah. I'm sorry. What I saw what happened over there. Do you, it I don't was think just, it, it was just deteriorating from the. the yeah. I'm not exactly sure what even happened. I mean, yeah. I've known the guy for like 20 years. I've never seen him ever act like that. Uh, well, Jason left and the police left, so I don't think they left together. Well, he was busy trying to talk to that girl. I, I know he was trying to talk to that girl, but listen, you're in the middle of the tournament. Turn to the girl and say, give me your phone number. We'll continue this when I can get to you on the phone. I'll call you after the bar closes, whatever, 2.30 in the morning, whatever. I'll give you a call. Uh, we, we, may, we may play this out tonight. We'll see. And it was because of the girl. He was, he was pounding down drinks because of the girl. Yeah, he better not get inside a car, inside a car with the sheriff right there. No, I wouldn't do that. Then it carried over here. I don't even know what the hell happened. Like whatever you had going on over there carried carried over here. All of a sudden, he just starts. You know, he starts getting in his face. And Renee wasn't doing anything. Renee no. just wanted to shoot. Absolutely. Renee just wanted to play. He just wanted to play. Renee, who are you playing? I said he, Janelle. I, I said he was too busy trying. I said he was too busy trying to talk. I know to you're from. Uh, yeah, but what what's your? Uh, give me a second. Spell your first name. J O N E L. J O N E L, Janelle, and your first last name. Serrano, S E R R A N O. And I gotta tell you, he's a he's a pretty good guy. 
pretty good player. He could have had a chance. Oh, absolutely. He could have had a chance of doing something. It's a race to, uh, it's a race to seven. Okay, good luck. I mean, you, don't, you don't know. I mean, he nice to talk to you. Uh, he might have cost himself. He could you should good. I was watching you play over here on table two. What? Uh, over on table one. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Who who can though? I mean, really, you're not you're not supposed to. All right. So here we have a uh, a new match coming up, folks. Janelle Serrano and Renee Carrion race to seven. Dio, I, I couldn't agree more. I, ho I hope Jason gets home okay. And uh, like I said earlier, uh, sober. Uh, he and I actually, I consider him a friend of mine. He, we get along, but you know, um, sometimes we get to that point. Uh, art artificially, we've altered our personality so much where. Uh, he's no longer um, an attractive person to be around. That's about the best way to put it, I think. Well, his problem was, was that he's here to play and try to win this tournament, not find a girl. <laughs> Good to see you too. Yeah, good night. Thank you too. Thank you. Good night. He got mad at me too. He got mad at everybody, and I, I think he's just. I mean, 20 years ago. I, 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 I've known him. I've, I've, oh, I've, I've seen that all the time. I think he should have eaten I've or seen something. I've never seen that out of him. I've been in Vegas with the guy. He's been hammered, pounded down drinks. Never seen him. Never seen that. <laughs> not that type of I just feel bad. I mean, this is not cheap. He would pay a lot of money to play this thing. He could have. He could have. Hey Sarge, be safe tonight. Oh, I have his number. I'm going to call it. His pool cues were over by that pool table over there. Two twenty-five. I mean, I mean, his pool cues were over there on the table when he was playing the match. Let me try it again. It goes right to voicemail. You got this, Matt, Matt Schneider is talking to you over here. What? Oh. What's the real story? <laughs> Alan. <laughs> oh, this guy, Alan? Alan Hernandez. Alan Hernandez. I see the comment, Alan Hernandez. I, I think the problem kind of started, though. He was talking to a, a good-looking girl that was sitting at the bar, and they were doing some drinks, and he was pounding down some, some shots with her, and he was playing a match on the table that was closer to the bar, which is two tables over from where the stream is happening. Nice and uh, I think he was more distracted with her than with doing anything in the tournament but he was actually playing very well and nobody had any kind of real problem with him we don't know what the heck you know it's like he just drank a little more than he probably should have and just started to have a mental meltdown or I, something I think that's what it was we don't know what 
exactly um, it was. What do you think about the nine ball here, Mike? Um, no, I think I think Janelle might go for this bank on this on this six and maybe try to bank it straight back at him, unless he can get enough of this to cut it. Okay. Well, okay, he's fine. I think he's fine. He's a pretty good shot. He's going to cut that eight probably in the back corner. I think he's all right. He did He did hand him an envelope, but it didn't have a Snickers bar. Let me go look for his phone. I mean, it became a mess. They called the police. There were three cops that came, three big cops that came walking in here. Bigger, big, well, bigger than him. I mean, they, these guys probably were about 6'5", you know, uh, so they weren't, you know, they weren't playing, they weren't playing games. But I mean, he was getting a little belligerent, and uh, I've known him a long time. Never, you know, people are saying, yeah, they've seen that behavior. I have not seen that behavior myself. I've hung out with the guy in Vegas, and he's drunk way more than that, and I've never seen him get like that. So I'm not sure what uh, what all transpired, um, and the girl walked out of here 30 minutes ago or whatever. I mean, she's been gone, that girl. So I don't know what all that, I don't even know what all that was about. I mean, she was a good looking girl, but you gotta move, you gotta move on or, or grab the phone number or, or whatever and, and play the tournament. You came here to win, you know, the tournament. You paid two and a quarter to get into it, you know, and he probably just cost himself some, you know, significant possibilities of money here. Uh, whether he, you know, cared or not. Could have cost himself a grand, two grand, who knows. You know, I think he took fifth, sixth. They, they handed him some envelopes for the, for the money, and uh, he left. Uh, we don't know if Renee was going to beat him or, or not. I mean, it looked like he might have shot that six uh, combination with the nine ball, possibly, and uh, he may have he may have actually been able to get out of that. He would have been up two to one in the match if he makes that. He would have been winning two to one. We don't know what would have happened. He's actually Jason was playing Jason was playing good all night, so we don't we don't know what would have happened exactly. Well, he was playing good all night. Yeah, he came back in. Uh, the police came back in with him. Um, he's saying that he left his cell phone in here, and so they came back in with him to uh, let him look around and see if he could find his, his phone. All right, anyway, we've got a, we've got a match going on here. We've got uh, Janelle versus uh, Renee, and... Uh, this is in progress. They're, they're basically just walking around with them to see if they can find the phone. He just came looking for his phone. It turned out it was inside his pool case in the large pocket. So uh, Pete Wilson's going to take him home, and uh, it's going to be okay. Oh, we almost scratched. What do we have here? Is this zero zero so? First game? Uh yeah. 
Oh, wait a minute. It's got one zero. Okay. So Janelle, is Janelle up one nothing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what, they're going to drive him home? What, he's going to have to come back here and get his car? If he's got a car here? Uh-oh, still going. Hold on. I don't, think he, I don't think he had a car. I don't think he had a car here. I think he came originally with Kerry, with Kerry Fierke earlier today. And Kerry, I think, left a long time ago. So I think his plan was always to get a ride home with somebody. Oh, he came with Kerry? I think he did earlier. He had something posted on. Right. Saw the two of them in the car posted on Facebook picture. All right, so yeah, Pete's gonna take him home. He's good. He's good. They're waiting for him too. Police are. So just make sure he gets out of there and gets home safe. And I didn't see Pete drinking at all, so uh, he's sober enough to drive home. That's good. All right, scores one one. Uh, race to seven. We're gonna we're gonna muscle. Through. <laughs> we're gonna. We're gonna muscle through this, folks. Stay with me. We're gonna get there. We still have 75 people watching shots. 75, 75 people. people. They're still. I, I think they were kind of hoping. To, uh, uh, we went to a pool tournament in the WWF. Uh, whatever. WWE. You, you know we got I mean. WWE wrestling. You, you know what I'm trying here. to say. It's scripted. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is not scripted. The WWE yeah. is scripted. This is not scripted. I hope he paid his tab. Uh, I believe he did. Yes. Hey, hey, Jeff. You all right? You okay? All right. Thanks for staying with us. It was a little excitement. Come on. Uh, not exactly what uh, we would want to produce no. for a, a stream for you guys at home, but... Um, what the hell? Well, it is. Uh, three players left, Anthony. Uh, as far as I know, right? Shots just, just. I think so. Renee, Janelle, and uh, well, Wilbert's got to be in Wilbert, the mix. He's, he's, he's the hot. Oh no, Josh. Oh, Josh, he's in the hot seat. There's yeah, four, there's he, four left. There's four people left. Yeah, he had the hot seat. I haven't even seen. I haven't even seen uh, Josh. He didn't. He didn't take off or anything, did he? I mean, I haven't even. I haven't seen him in the last, unless he's up in the front somewhere. We might be coming back tomorrow. Hitting some balls. Who might be coming back tomorrow? I might be coming back tomorrow. Renee, Janelle, Wilbert, and Josh. I don't know. I would think they'd want to try and get this done today if they could. I don't see it making a whole lot of. There's there's people involved in this thing still that if they had to come back, uh, they they may as well just stay here overnight in a motel or or a hotel or something. If they had to come back. They're they're driving seven, you know, 60, 70, 80 miles. We're gonna try and finish it tonight to get here. We are. You know, okay. still seventy five people watching, man. <laughs> She will? All right. Hey, what the hell, man? We're here. I know, so am I. Renee. You got two? Two to one. Two to one. Renee. Renee. Is that guy Josh even still here? 
the guy in the hot seat. He's probably in his car. He's probably in his car. He's probably in his car. Yeah, Renee Carrion, uh, Janelle um, Serrano, Wilbert Francisco, and Josh Burton. If uh, you're still watching and you're enjoying, <laughs> you're enjoying the show. Um, the person who sends the most stars during our stream tonight will get a Calcutta Kid hoodie or sweatshirt, your choice. If you want to send us some stars, go right ahead. Uh, it's uh, money we use to help promote our uh, stream here for you guys. Every little bit helps. Speaking of little bits, if you do not have us, <laughs> Nick's in a great stream. Of <laughs> if you do not have, oh my God, the ball popped out. Come on, keep your head down, buddy. Uh, if you do not have us subscribed on YouTube, please do so. We have over. Um, 3,000 viewers on Facebook, but only about 850 or so, uh, just shy of 900 on YouTube. If we can get our YouTube to 1,000 by the end of the year, uh, that helps us pay a couple bills. Not big bills, small bills, but nevertheless, it's a couple bucks. So um, it costs nothing for you guys to do this. Just go over to YouTube, look up Calcutta Kid TV, hit the word subscribe, and that's it. You've done what you need to do. Uh, thanks, James Miller. How you doing? They're going to stream. Oh, cool. Anthony Mullins, you're the man. I appreciate you, brother. appreciate you. Um, you know, uh, I've, known, I've known Jason for a long time. And, and, yes, does he get like that? Yeah. Unfortunately, we all have the ability to get like that some more than others, right? Watch this 3-9 combo. He's got to sliver cut the 9 ball, and we're using the 3. Look at Beautiful that. Beautiful shot. shot. Uh, you guys understand what I mean when I say when I still sliver cut. Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay, good. That was a good shot. Uh, Janelle ties it up Very at, nice. uh, at 2. Excellent shot. Um, so Jason, um, I'm not I'm not beating a dead horse. I'm just acknowledging something. He knew that the camera was on, and I think that was an opportunity to put on a bigger show. So when I made the comment about ditching the stream, um, the theatrics kind of subsided a little, a little bit. So. Nevertheless, here we are, and uh, Don Neckel, I want to support your stream and possibly a business to support what is your best way you can message me. Yeah, absolutely, Don, I will. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give you my number as well. Uh, it's, in, it's in the stream right here. This is my business phone. It's my business phone now. John Eni guesses my name. Or Chief. However you want to put me in your phone. Uh, yeah, so you have mine as well. And I look forward, forward to hearing more about your offer. All right, Don. Remind me now tomorrow or, or Monday, whenever you want to talk. Okay, please. It's 
so yeah, I enjoy doing this. Been doing this for about a year now for Jimmy. Um, and I, I really, I really enjoy it. Um, yeah, we have personality conflicts like this and that. Uh, let's be honest. Some people don't like to lose. So who does? I mean, if you did like to lose, you wouldn't be a champion pool player like almost everybody in this field today. But as we know, uh, some personalities are are more tolerant to that type of negative behavior than others. And there may be a little bit of alcohol involved. But I'm not going to blast him for it. It is what it is. Uh, the stars are on Facebook, James. Um, if you're on Facebook, you can uh, go over to message and send stars. Groups of stars, clusters of stars. They're all different values. And uh, it, it's, it's money that we that go directly into our account, quite honestly. Um, every little bit helps. So if you can afford to do that, great. You know, in celebration of the 74 of you that still stuck around with me all day long, I'm going to text shots. Check this out. I love doing this. Okay. If, what you, is it? if you were here on the uh, stream earlier, we had we had good, good, um, yes, my daughter. Let me go ahead and uh, S-C-H-A. There T -Z. you are. I'm going to yep. text shots a three-digit number, a random three-digit number. Let me think about it. Give me a second. Okay. Okay, you should get a three-digit number in your in your cell phone. Okay. Let me know when you get it. Uh, the first okay, person, got it. the first person, don't say anything. The first person that guesses the three-digit number will get a set of Calcutta Kid gear, which includes a towel, a glove, and a power bank. Go for it. Start start and put start putting in three digit numbers. I'll read them. If you hear me read your three digit number aloud, it's not it. Sam Maggio, three ninety seven, two thirty four. Keep going. If you hear your number, it's not it. Three fifty six. You I need you to look too because I might miss it. Uh, shots. Um, okay. One forty five, four eighty four eighty five, one oh four, three seventy three, it's five sixty one, seven seventy seven. 618 681 625 665 625 618 1099 10 through 99 10 no. 1099 that's not it 258 253 622 231 272 nope 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 keep going three digit number i'll give you a clue it was my high school division number my high school division. I went to Bogan High School where I met my wife, Holly. It was my high school division number. Three digit number. I, I, I can't read that fast, but none of the numbers I saw were it. Nope. Keep, no. keep going. Keep going. If this keeps going to uh, 1240, which is in three and a half minutes, then I will give you the first digit. The first person who guesses the three-digit number, which is my high school division number, I will give you a set of Calcutta Kid gear. Are you watching? You, I'm watching. I, I, I don't see it yet either. I have not seen it. Um, a towel, a glove, and a power bank. I'm looking for my three-digit division number from Bogan High School. Now, if you guys are familiar with division numbers, division numbers begin with the year in which you graduate. So do you guys know how old I am and what year I graduated Bogan High School? 
I don't think it's on my my profile. Keep going. I don't, I don't see the number. Keep going. It's three digits. Three digits. Um, no, I'm not seeing it either. We, we have two and a half minutes, and I'll give you the first digit. And then, then we'll be within 100. Three-digit number, Cat. Three-digit number. Nope. I have not seen it yet. Come on, keep I guessing. I haven't either. Keep guessing three-digit numbers. I haven't seen many that started with I've, the I've right number. I've seen a couple people oh. now get the first digit. Just a couple, just a couple seconds ago. All had, right, had the come first on. Digit. Come on. If it if it continues on with no luck until uh, twelve forty, I will I will give you the first digit. It's twelve thirty eight. Three-digit number. Keep going. We're waiting. We're waiting. Come on. You guys are... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't see it yet. Well, all they've really got to do is just wait a minute. And they'll, they'll get the first digit. <laughs> they'll get the first they'll, number. And then they'll, then they'll start guessing. Because <laughs> they're going to know it's within it's within that yeah, I don't set see, of numbers. I don't see it yet. I don't see it yet. Shots to you? No, I do not. All right. One more minute. I'm going to give you the first digit. Well, a minute and ten seconds. Well, we just had a person get at least oh, the oh, first oh. digit. Oh, right? Shots is giving clues. Shots is giving <laughs> clues. No fair. One more minute. One more minute and you'll get the first digit. I appreciate you guys playing along. This is fun. All you got to do is guess a three-digit number. It's my high school division number from Bogan High School. <laughs> I graduated. It's 1239. Yep. Still says 1239. 1240, you get the first number. Keep going. Keep going. I haven't even seen it backwards, have you? I have not. Nope. Uh, two people just typed in the first digit. Uh oh. Shots is given shots is given three giving. digit number. Okay, I graduate twelve forty. I graduated Bogan High School in nineteen eighty five. My three digit division number begins with the number five, ladies and gentlemen. Give me that three-digit division number. Correctly, the first one that gets my three-digit division number will get a set of Calcutta Kid gear. Now, wait a minute. I see a bunch of people typing in. We've just told you the first digit is a five. It takes a, it takes a delay. It's like a 20-second yeah. like delay. Okay, we got some it begins people typing the, in some fives. It begins with the number five. Yeah. It begins with the number five. Right, so anything with eight or nine or two... As the first number, you're not getting it. All right. Here come some fives. Yep, I see some fives. Oh, uh, somebody uh, got one. Close, 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 close. Number close. away the, from it. Close. There was one. <laughs> it was one number away. Somebody, was, somebody just Somebody was one in. digit away. <laughs> All right. Wow. <laughs> it was so close. Oh, uh, <laughs> another person was one digit away. <laughs> so oh, close. my goodness. They're so close. So it's like It's like Battleship. But they were one digit less. Yeah, don't you're giving one was one digit you're giving, more. Shots the other you're giving one digit less. You're giving away too much shots. Oh, oh, oh time out, time out. Oh, Ron D, Ron D, Ron, Ron D. Ron D got it. Ron D. Ron D. Ron D. Five o eight. That's it. My high school division number. Oh, look at oh, this. Oh, Dex and, and Dex, got it too. Dex gets it too. Got it after him. Ron D was the first Ron one. Ron D got it. Ron D, where's it? Where's that? Ron D, right here, tw at nine, at zero zero forty one twenty seven. Yep. Ron, Ron D, Ron D five wins five oh eight. Uh, Mr. Um, what the hell was his name? Uh, it was the basketball coach. I don't even remember his name. Uh, Greg Knoll and uh, uh, Kim LeBeau and and. Uh, 
Uh, Sharon Tracy. Oh, we had a good we had a good division back in high school. Uh, Ron D. Here's my cell phone number. Send me a text, and uh, you and I will get together. I'll send out a set of uh, Calcutta Kid gear for you. They're still guessing. <laughs> They're still guessing. <laughs> There's still uh, people Ron, typing. Ron, Ron, D in. Has, Ron D has won the. Uh, Ron D got it at 508. 508 was my division number, in, was uh, the number in high school. Uh, thanks for playing, everyone. That, that's fun. I, it, it breaks up the stream a little bit. So I appreciate you guys. A little way to reward. Uh, you, uh, here, Jason. Wow, what the, a, another guy. What a shot. What happened? That Renee Carrion just massayed around that seven ball and made the five and made it What's the score perfectly. Now? Four, uh, four to three. Janelle, you got three or four? You got three or four? You're four? Janelle has four. Yep. All right, sorry, folks. That, that game just took me away from the score a little bit. Look at this. All right, the score's four to three. <laughs> Does he have a shot or no? Well... He's got a. He's probably got a bank shot here, but if he wants to take it, or he could play safe. Obviously. Oh, he cut that very oh nice. Oh my God! What a wow, shot! Wow, that was a nice shot. He actually cut that. That was not a a give me anything for a cut. It was he was dead straight at that ball practically for a bank. Cut so that's that a four-four. Wow. Beautiful very, shot. Very nice shot. Excellent shot. Ron D. Send me a text message now so I don't forget. <laughs> they're still, they're still <laughs> Jimmy Nevin's still playing. Eight six seven five three oh nine. I like that. Donald Lawson, I like that. <laughs> oh, that was kind of fun to play along. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Wakes, wakes everybody up. They all jump on their phones and the keyboard. And okay, I uh, wait a minute. She said I called 508. Uh, Kat, hold on now. Did you, you probably did it after. Uh, you probably did it after Ron D. I mean, we'd have to literally go, go, go back, back. Go back and. Uh, before. Can you tell me what time you texted what, it? What time did you, what time did you send it? Hey, I'm all about fairness here, Kat. If you, if you, if you did it first. Then you get it. I'm only sending a text if it involves killer food. <laughs> wow. Yeah, what time was that? Uh, zero, I said zero zero forty one, right? Yes. It's way back here. Correct. Way back here. It was like zero zero forty one, and I don't know if it was forty four seconds or. So I have it right, right here. What exactly? Five oh eight, right in here somewhere. 510, 506. There. Uh, oh, that's Dex. It was before that. It was that. before Dex. Yeah, the first one I had was right. There right you here, go. There, 004127. Yep. So Ron, I have Ron D. Now, unless Cat got it in before that. Let me go backwards. I'll check. I don't see it, Cat. See a bunch of fives. I saw the 507 from James Miller. That was yeah, close. Yeah. It was pretty close. That was one of the ones I think that I said was one digit away. He's on five again. Okay, Renee's got Renee's got five and Janelle has four. Renee's strong, man. Playing good. He's playing good. This was a tough field. I mean six twenty five and under, but this was a tough field. He's playing good. Yeah. I agree. To be where he's where he's at. I mean, yes, there's still there's uh, Wilbert Francisco and there's this Josh uh, Burton that's still left in the in the tournament as well. But uh, so I'm imagining whoever wins this is probably playing uh, Wilbert, and and whoever wins that would have to double dip Josh Burton. Mm. 
Yeah, I know. I know. I get I get sweaty when I play pool. People wouldn't think you would uh, heat up, but you do. Where's Josh from? Um, do you know where Josh is from? I do not. You can look him up in the Fargo. If it usually will give you where the person's from. Yeah, do that. Yeah, James. I think it's only through Facebook. Uh, the stars. Uh, ja- Jason Holst first. I seen. What? Well, there's a Josh Burton. That's a six twenty-two out of Indiana. That might oh. be. That's probably him. He might be the guy from Indianapolis. Yeah, that's probably him. Uh, Dex says he's from Kentucky. Oh, okay. Dex, Dex Cadasio. Look at that shot. Okay. Very nice, Janelle. Thank you, James. I appreciate the uh, the nod. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. What's that? Uh, let me see. I think I'm I'm, I'm around a hundred. I think. I just sent you a text message. Ron, is it Ron D? Ron D one? Ron D, I believe. Ron D. Yeah, we, did we find if Cat had sent anything? I don't think so. I didn't see it uh, unless uh, no. it never showed up here. I don't think we found it. Goodness. Pardon me, folks. He's kind of hooked behind at nine for the six, right? Yes, he is. He's going to just nick it and come all the way back down? I think he hit it a little hard. I think he's. Yeah. He left him a shot. Hit that ball a little bit hard. Yeah, that, that, could, be, that could be trouble for this rack anyway. Oh, here. Uh, Ron D says this. Should, here, hold this. Ariel, okay. You know? I'll need to know uh, what size glove. You can give him the goods, and I'll see him at Chris tomorrow if you want. Oh, okay, Ron. Yeah, probably Ariel, probably Ariel Dillon. Okay. Uh, well, we'll need to know what kind of glove. Possi- possible I'll possibly be at Chris's t- tomorrow, um, Ron D. Yes, that's po- it's possible. You know, if if not, uh, for some reason, if I don't if I don't get to Chris's, you know, I'd hate to hang on to it because then you probably wouldn't see me until the following Sunday over there. All right, Ron. I just uh, Ron D. Ariel. I just sent you a uh, text message. 
<laughs> Jim Nevin's still guessing. <laughs> uh, large glove, okay. Uh, left hand, right hand, color, red, blue, black, or gray. Left, large, black, please. You got it. I'll make it up right now and give it to you. Nice shot. That was a great shot right From there. From Janelle, yes. Yeah. Great bank on that nine ball. That ties it at fives. Yes, it does. Five, five. All right, let me go ahead and make it up for you now, uh, Ron D. Give me a second.
Ron D, you're all set. That's all yours. Right, all right, Ron D. This is yours. Hey, that's yours. There you go. This is yours, Ron D. Division 508. James Miller, a little bit too late. Jason Holst, he's given the answer. Okay, gotcha. Okay, Ron D, that's your plastic bag that I was holding up in front of the camera. That's yours. All right, what's the score? Six okay. to five. Six to five. Renee. Renee's on the hill. Yes. See how fast they can play a match if they just played the game. Well, there wouldn't have, <laughs> there wouldn't have been any problem if Jason would have just shot the game. He'd he, yeah. he very potentially cost himself money because we don't know what the outcome of him and Renee would have been. I mean, I'm not That's saying right. that That's Renee right. is playing bad. Renee's playing good today, but. Jason, you know, up until that point, I watched a match or two of his, and Jason was not playing like a slouch either. Um, uh, could have been a 50-50 coin toss. Who knows? Dan Daniel Dean is asking if I'm going to be in Davenport in January. I have not heard anything. Uh, Jimmy's talked to Iowa ACS in uh, January, and I think Iowa's in February. Uh, there's, a, there's a bid in there. Uh, he's got... Waiting for an answer from Ira Miller. And uh, what's what's the uh, ACS lady name? Um, I have it in here. Oh, shoot. Uh, not Faith. It's the, it's, um, is it Kathy? No, what's her name? Oh, I can't. I can't think of her name. Janet, is that right, Janet? No, Janet is uh, Ibarra. That's that's um, no. I'm thinking of uh, the blonde-haired lady. She was in charge of the ACS last year. Uh, I, I know the name. I just can't think of it. All right, if you win, James, you got it. Uh, so what James is referring to is the person who sends the most stars on Facebook during the stream today will get their choice of a Calcutta Kid hoodie or sweatshirt. She runs the Iowa ACS. Oh, Janet does? Ibarra? Okay. Uh, that's not the woman I was speaking of then. It is... Oh, shoot. You're going to get me to go through my phone now. Here, hold on. It's going to be in the seas. What if I put ACS? Would that help? Nope. Iowa? Nope. Iowa. Ira Miller. Waterloo. Nope. Shoot. Hmm. That's not good. Jan Janelle just left himself behind that five. No shot at that four ball, which is right in front of the five ball. So he's going to have to jump. He's got no choice here. That's not a great situation because depending on what happens here, you got a combination with the seven ball and the nine ball down at the bottom of the table on the other side of where Janelle is standing. And 
no, he made a bad made a bad hit and he just opened up that whole table for Renee. This could be it for him. I mean there's nothing hard about this rack really. It's fairly open. Uh, making the six ball if it goes past the nine in that bottom corner over there. You know, that might be something interesting because if you hit it even just Barb a little bad, you could hit that nine ball. Barb Avery is what I'm thinking of. I had to go through my phone to look at the, the remember the names. Barb Avery. That's who I'm thinking of. But January is ACS, then that would be, you're right, uh, Janet Navarro. Um, I, I don't remember uh, doing anything for uh, ACS last year. I do remember... Perfect and the seven and the nine. Oh, are he gave it to him. He gave it to him. Seven and the nine are fairly lined up here. I mean, like it would, it'd be pretty hard not to make that. I mean, they're pretty lined up. Hey, Renee, see if you make it. You better make it. <laughs> you better make it, man. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. Just shoot it straight on, man. I mean, come on. Oh. No, you, you shoot it straight on. I mean, but it, it was it was probably a 98% shot. I mean, like, you, you'd have to be, you know, crippled, falling, and hitting your head on the side of the pool table probably there's, to miss it. There's Jimmy. What's up, Jimmy? That's why Janelle Jimmy uh, hoping it. to wait on here on confirmation from Janet Pettit Ibarra. All right. Um, so, Jimmy, I did one of your things. I hope you're okay with it. I put out there a couple hours ago that the person who sends the most stars tonight during our broadcast would get a Calcutta Kid hoodie or sweatshirt. And uh, we should be seeing some stars coming our way during this broadcast. Hopefully it's enough to uh, at least cover the cost of one of our hoodies. <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll see. If not, I'll eat it. I'll, I'll, I'll buy it. Um, what's up? Yeah, so I, I'm sorry I had to uh, talk to Shots about something. So, yeah, there's there's going to be something going on. Uh, Jimmy's uh, in favor of it, so thank you. I appreciate that, partner. Um, he's in favor of the uh, promotion. person who sends the most stars during this broadcast will be given their choice of a Calcutta Kid hoodie or sweatshirt. Go to calcuttakid.tv and go to our online store to look to see what we offer our supporters um, they will most likely include the logo for Q Connect which is our app coming out soon um, if you don't mind folks I'm gonna take a, a, a short break stay with me though and watch these few minutes a few minutes a few words about Q Connect it's not that long I'll be right back
Yeah. All right, we're back here. Thanks for watching that. I appreciate you guys. Thanks, Jimmy, for changing the video. Um, so, in light of uh, Q Connect uh, being open to the public uh, soon, we're hoping for February. Uh, I'm, I've taken over. Obviously, you guys have seen me on, on the streams quite a bit lately. I've taken over the streaming portion of our business, and Jimmy's been working diligently with our de app developers to get this thing ready for public consumption by February of 2024. If you are a tournament director and you want to be included in the beta test, please reach out to me or Jimmy immediately. We will put you on a list so that when the app comes out, you'll be the first to test it and uh, let us know your thoughts, okay? Uh, Jimmy's here. If you, he's, if you want to say hi to him, uh, he's on the stream. He just commented uh, a few minutes ago, two minutes ago, four, four minutes ago. Um, if you are a business owner and you would like to sponsor Calcutta Kid TV for the 2024 year or uh, thereafter, uh, reach out to me and we can work out some the numbers. Uh, you'll notice on our stream, oh, pardon me, there it is. Uh, you'll notice on our stream on the left-hand side are the businesses who have committed to us for 2024 and uh, and on. Some have signed multiple-year contracts with us. Uh, Jared Frieders from American Hustler. Dan Anderson from Atlas Billiard Supply. Gil Castile from Castile Leather Goods. Digital Pool. And the partnership with Q-Connect is going to be amazing. Tom Van Eck from IQ. Go to iqclinic.com. Pat Prendergast from Pat's Billiards and Dart Supplies. Stefan Supporta from Supporta Law Offices in Joliet, Illinois. He does uh, mortgage foreclosure and uh, civil rights law stuff. If you need his help, give him a call in Joliet there. And... Bill Filippiak of WAF Custom Q Cases. I'm sorry. It used to be. It's WAF Custom Q Holders. I have an example of one in my car. I didn't bring it in. But next stream I do, I'll show you one of the Q, case, Q holders he makes. They're high end. They're beautiful. They're made out of wood. And he shellacks them nicely. He puts a felt thing around the, the fingers so you don't scratch up your Q sticks. It's beautiful. He makes high-end wood cue holders. They're beautiful. Uh, here we go. We are in the semifinals. We have... Uh, I didn't change the scoreboard yet. Jet. Jet, what's his last name? Francisco. Francisco. Jet Francisco. Renee Carrion, this is a race to seven. Wow. That was the only way to get a position on that five ball. I Alright, there we go. There's the scoreboard now. It's all set up. Let me move that table out of the way here. That's too much. I don't know how it moved. Did someone bump in the camera, maybe? Save that on table three. Okay, we're good. That's uh, Jet Francisco shooting on table three right there. Says it's good. One nothing. It's one to one. Okay, thank you. All right. 
Thank you, Dex. I appreciate you. Yeah, man, he uh, he is awesome. Um, I don't see them here, but Jimmy will see him, uh, John. Wait, is this John or Michelle? Hold on. I think it's John Allen. Um, Jimmy will see them. I don't see them on my end, but he'll see them. Uh, Jimmy, did just did the stars go through that? Uh, John, okay. Um, did the stars go through that John Allen and uh, James Miller sent? I, I don't get to see that part. Uh, if I haven't thanked you guys, I wasn't trying to be rude. I just don't see it. So um, if you've sent SARS, I, I really appreciate it. That's money we can use uh, in our business here. So thank you very much. So anyway, we're watching uh, Jet Francisco or Wilbert Francisco playing Rene Carrion in basically the semifinal um, match of the tournament. Um, they, uh, they, are, they are playing, and it would still then, whoever ends up winning this, be a double-dip situation. Against Josh. Josh. Yeah. He's over there on table four. Yes. Yeah, he's up, he's up and practicing. So he's hitting some balls to probably get back to being a little bit warmed up, um, as you'd expect. Thanks, Kelly. Uh, you have a good night also, honey. And uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate all of you sticking with me uh, tonight, even with the, the chaos we had earlier. Uh, yeah, it just it happens, I guess, right? Um, torture you. You said your ex go, went to Bogan. What's your ex's name? And what year did your ex graduate? I may know them. Jose says, anybody want a side bet? Hunter, he likes Jet. Uh, Jet's got a double dip. Josh Burton now, Jose. Did you know that? That's or, do you, if, or do you mean in this match? That's if, yeah, that's if uh, Jet wins this match. Yeah, right. He would have to double dip Josh. Oh, I got to stand up. My legs... Either way, I mean, if Renee wins, Renee has to double dip. Either one of them has to basically double dip Josh unless they work out some sort of a deal because it's just going to get to the time of the night where, you know, people might just be like, hey, we just want to go home. But uh, I don't think that's going to happen in this in this case. Yeah. Cause, did, did, uh, you, did you realize how quiet it is here? <laughs> yeah, because uh, a chop probably isn't going to work out to be very fair. No. I mean, you're just going to have to play this. Probably, you know, yeah, right. be able to chop. I mean, um, unless you, you know, know the, you know, know the people that well that, you know, you're willing to come to terms. Yeah. What's that? Okay. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, Jet Francisco takes the lead two to one. On to the next game. How much did you buy yourself for? I forgot. I forgot to turn the microphone on. <laughs>
a pro shop. Okay. They're going to do queues, sell queues, apparel, stuff like that, and end up being in their office. And then in the back room where we did the auction, that right to the left there is that beer room. Originally, that was oh, excuse me. VIP room. So there was going to be a seven foot uh, table in there, uh -huh. some couches, and they were going to set up cameras in there. Um, okay. So originally that was going to be a VIP. So if you're gambling, you got that room yourself, and the only people allowed in there were the people playing, and if you wanted them in there. That way you were left alone. Okay. But, so I was like, that'd be pretty cool, but it, the way they did everything worked out really well. Uh oh. <sighs> Sorry, folks. My energy tank is running low. Yeah. Try to carry him shot there. Oh, somebody else is tired too. I'm gonna hit the head right back, buddy. No, I'm good. Okay, so we've got Renee Kirion at the table. He's shooting at the four ball currently. Down at the bottom of the table, makes the four. He's got himself a little, uh, little bit of a leave at the five here in the side pocket. He's probably just going to kind of stun that. And he's going to have a perfect leave at that six. Might have even pulled it with a little draw. Seven ball goes right in the side. It's really just the eight and the nine. There weren't too many problems on this table if he's running this out. That could have been a little, that could have got a little better on that eight ball, but he may just be trying to cut that in the side. I don't know what the thought was there. Yeah, and he's just gonna come back nicely and he's gonna have a perfect dead straight shot at that nine ball. That was perfect. So Renee will take the lead three to two. It's probably the Josh that you think it is torture you. I believe he's not going to split. He's here. He just came back. I think he either went down the street somewhere or he was sitting in the car. Um, but he's back and he's actually on a table hitting some balls. Uh, or he was a few minutes ago. So he's, he's uh, getting back to... Getting in the stroke, uh, he's probably going to want to play. I doubt he's going to want to do anything other than play.
Okay, so Renee left Wilbert at the table here. Wilbert had a good shot at that one ball. Now he's got a little bit of a problem. He didn't leave himself very good on this three. He's got a little bit of trouble here. could do was play a safety basically. He had to play a safe. Oh, I think Renee tried to get him back guy. behind that, behind that cluster. Hmm? I think uh, Renee was trying to hide him behind that little cluster of balls there, that eight, six, four. Thanks, Jimmy. And it didn't quite work, and he's got a straight shot here at this three, but he's got that four ball all the way back there. He's got to get back to that, and I think he did. He got pretty good. Got pretty good for that four ball. It's dead straight. <clears throat> Steve. <laughs> Steve Gronwald still playing the game. He's still <laughs> guessing numbers. <laughs> it's hysterical. <laughs> oh, Steve. Was, was Dan uh, Gronwald, was that your... Uh, Dan, Dan was here, right? Dan Gronwald was here? Yeah, you had a Gron, Gronwald play in the tournament earlier, was I Dan, believe. the Marine, right, Dan? I think so. I wonder if that's... Uh, Related? Father-son. Could be. Nice little touch on that shot. I think he's got a cut at that six in the corner. Just got it. Get himself a shot at this. Yeah. Too firm. He shot a little hard maybe, but he's got a cut at the seven. Sliver cut, right? Yep. That's my favorite word, sliver cut. One of them. Oh. Hit that ball a little hard maybe, but he's okay. Should be okay. Uh, he'll probably get fairly perfect on this. Yeah, he's perfect. Yeah. Hit that good. Three to three. Three, three. Three, three. All right. Three, three in a race of seven. Yep. Zachary says plot twist. What's the plot twist? There's only um, one more player in it, right? In this? Yeah, besides these two guys. Yeah, Josh, I believe. That's it. I think this is the final three. Josh Burton is waiting for Well, and whoever managed to get Josh in the Calcutta, um, oops. Yeah, there's just three. There's three left. Uh, the winner of this uh, race has to double dip. J 
Josh. Who's the guy on table four? Over here. Um, he was practicing with with Josh. Josh is sitting in the chair. I don't it's know. It's just practice, okay, right? I don't think he's. I don't think he's involved in the tournament. Okay. Um, I, unless I'm, unless I'm mistaken. All right. He may just be practicing. Hey Zach, what's going on? Thanks for uh, commenting. Appreciate you uh, stopping by and saying hi. <laughs> Uh, we still have, it's been a long day, folks, uh, and I appreciate all of you staying with us. Over 60 people still watching, so thank you. That nice. Means, that means a lot to me. Combo? Yeah. All right, Renee. Do you want something else? Mike, you want something else to drink? Uh, are you having one? I, I have to finish mine. Still. Oh, you Oh, you still got to finish? Yeah, I, I just sip. Oh, hell. It's got to be a long day for me. Uh, I don't know. Uh, if, if you want to tell Bobby to put it on my tab, let's go, go ahead and do that. I just drink like, uh, like a whatever, mix, whatever, like whatever you want. Go, go get what you want. I, mean, I don't know if I want to drink anything hard. Huh? At this hour. I don't know if I want to drink anything hard. Whatever you want. Because I, I still got a 70 mile ride today. I, I hear you. <laughs> you got like a 50. F 44 or 46, I forgot what it said. Um, ladies and gentlemen, if you are watching us from Facebook World and you do not have a subscribed on YouTube yet, uh, that would be a great help to us. Uh, all you need to go is, do is go to YouTube. Nice try. Go to YouTube, search Calcutta Kid TV, and when our logo pops up, which is the, the pool rack with the crown on it, uh, kind of looks like a pineapple. Um, when that crown, just, just go to that page and hit the word subscribe. It's right next to the logo. If it says the word subscribed, like past tense, uh, you've already done this. But if it does not, please click that button that says subscribe. Uh, it'll change to the word subscribed, and then you're, you're fine. You don't even have to watch us on, face, on, on YouTube. Just go ahead and uh, give us that subscription. Um, we need about, here, I'll tell you right now what we need. We are at, we are currently at, now my goal for myself is 1,000 by the end of the year. And we are currently at 887. So we need 113 in the next what, five or six weeks. Six weeks. <coughs> Excuse me. So please, uh, be one of those to go over to YouTube and click the word subscribe for me, please. Thank you. If you've already subscribed and you hit the share button, that'll give us more views. Share that out to your friends and family, please. Um, and it'll be a way for us to make a couple dollars. So thank you so much. Oh, yeah, he's strong. Why would he do that? He knows something I don't know. Hey, Steve. Yeah, it's a long day for sure. Oh. 
I'm by, um, I'm Mount Greenwood, like 107th and Pulaski. What's Saturday? Uh, what's the date? Twenty fifth, Saturday the twenty fifth. Um, it might be family dinner because my daughter's working on Thanksgiving. But what do you got going on? Oh my gosh. What, what, what do they need? So, do, do they, are they looking for someone to come in and fix it or to just go there and stream? Oh, yeah? Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Is that tied? All right, it's tied at fours, folks. Hey, Luis, I'm open to it if, uh, if, if, as long as it's not a family dinner day for us. My daughter's a nurse. I think she's working on Thanksgiving, so I think my wife wants to, I don't know this yet. Hell yeah, I'm open to all. Yeah, I'm open to the best in the room is? Yeah, it'll help. Yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Oh, you haven't done anything at the care room yet? No. Or tried to talk to Dave Coles? No, but I will. Yeah. I, I need to expand my horizons. His tournaments, I mean, his tournaments are, are huge. Thank you. Yeah, his tournaments are big. Nastrovia. La Canoche. This is a crown apple and cranberry. You should have me try that. That's it looks really like good. it looks like it should have an umbrella in it, Mike. It's really good. Yeah, it tastes like fruit juice. Some it's cherries good. and an umbrella. Yes, and... yes it tastes like fruit juice. <laughs> oh wow! All right, so that's a cheese. Jet cheeses the nine ball, gets the lead, 5-4. Yeah. Now, there's, there's gas stations that are open, like, at this hour around here, right? I mean, I mean this town doesn't shut down at, like, not, not, I'm dead if, because I'm, I'm, I'm running no, out of fumes. You, you were right off the highway here. There's got to be a gas station I, around. I was going to say, it's because gotta, right by like, steak when and I shake. pulled in, I, I had literally, like, it said about 100 miles left on what, on what gas I've got. There's a case and it's open. It should still be open. It should still be open. Because I mean, like, I'm figuring this town might close up. Like, this is the only thing that's still open around here. You know, Chad's is probably like, man, I'm not going to go down south. Gas is cheating over there. He knows. I don't have to I, I should I should have bought it I should have bought it when I got off the highway I mean that way I was sure that I was gonna no nah, I'm sure they gotta be open something has to be open at this hour I mean, Does something. your know you take premium? Something's gotta be open. At this premium? Time. Yeah. What do you drive? I think, I think all airports take premium. Yeah. What's he drive? BMW. BMW. Oh. Oh, he's gonna show you. Don't worry. He's got pictures and fucking. I, I got. Should I, I got show him a picture of my hybrid? I got some pictures. <laughs> I get 51 miles of the gallon in my car. There you go. You're doing a lot better than me, I can tell you that. I mean, for sure. I mean, I'm not at the point where I need, you know, to bring a gas station, you know, or, or a gas pump with me. But oh. Thank goodness. But, yeah, it's, it can be Two balls bad. straight in. He's got to come right around, come uh, up between the 7 8. 
to the center of the table for the four in the top right. I gotta get a car wash, but this is the car that's basically outside. Oh, it's right beautiful. Now. I love that color. Yeah, so that's outside right now. Top English brings the cue ball to the center of the table. He'll do the same thing with the four, but he'll hit a little bit of right English so he does not bump into the nine ball. I mean, there's no reason to touch the nine. He, worst case scenario, he could hide behind it. Uh, he's got to cut the six to the left now. He'll hit some low right, two rails behind the nine. Yep, top English hits the foot rail back up to the center of the table. He's got to cut the, the eight to the right now, so bottom left will bring him to the top left pocket. Straight in for the nine. Jet says he's good, so he's good. This is a tie match. about time. <laughs> Jaime finally got the bonus over here in the poker machine. Yeah, he finally heard it. I <laughs> These guys are tied at five. It's a race to two. A race to two for who goes on to the semifinals. Finals. Well, okay, let's call it finals. finals. It's finals if Josh wins. So you got a two to two race, Renee versus Jet, Francisco, and Renee is at the table. It's a fairly, it's a fairly open, it's a fairly open rack here. You know, he's got to get from the four. He's gonna back. go around the seven. Yeah, I was gonna say, he's got to get back to that five, and and that's a nice, nice um, enough attempt at it. He's got a shot. He can cut this. Top left will bring him three rails a long way. Yep. One, two. Good enough. Three. three. Almost three. Yep. Close enough. Probably either draw, draw it back. either draw it or go with top. Oh, oh, man! Wow, that just died. Wow. Oh, he just missed it. What a time for that to what a time for that to happen. That might put Wilburn on the jet on the hill here. Zachary, Possibly. we are at. Bradley Billiard Club in Bradley, Illinois. We're at uh, exit 357 and I, I exit 315 off of I-57, Seven. about two miles west. Correct. Yeah, he's just going to probably shoot this with almost like a stop shot, or maybe he'll let it just go forward and hit the rail and come back off. He got that straight at that nine. All right, Jets on the hill. Renee has five. Yep. Is that? Hmm? Oh, you can't hear it because you don't have your headphones on. Is that what that is? I can hear it in the headphones. It's ice machine. 
So the microphone was literally picking that up from all the way over there. Jeez. I, I could hear it in the headphones. Wow. She was crushing ice. I could hear that all the way over here. He would have had a shot at that two ball net six. He bumped that six. And it's it's dead in his path. He would have been dead straight at that two ball. Uh, he probably couldn't do anything except maybe have attempted to bank that, that two ball, but he would have been dead straight at it. Now this is a little problem for him. Uh, the entry fee for this event was $225, and they had uh, 39 wow, show up. Beautiful. They had over 50 that were that signed up, made. but only 39 showed up. Right by the pocket. He may almost have to play this two rails. He might have to play a two railer up here in the up here toward this corner pocket at the top of the table, this left corner pocket to us at the top of the table. Uh, may, unless he thinks maybe he's kicking it off the back rail and he's got enough, he's gonna try to hit it in the side. And he makes it. He got it. That was a cool shot. Yep, that was a nice shot. I got it. I think he's almost looking to see if he can carry him off this three and make this nine, or he can hit, make a combo. hit this as a combo and make this nine ball. And he did. He made it perfectly. Why wouldn't you try nice it? Nice I mean, game. You're, you're nice game. Playing in the semi nice shooting jet. Yeah. Why wouldn't you try it? You're playing in the semifinals, right? Good job, sweetheart. All right, Jet beats Renee by a score of 7 to 5. Yep. Yeah, why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you try that shot and that on that combo? You got nothing to lose. You're a game ahead. And you only need that one so game to get the seven. Josh Burton, right? Got to shoot it. Josh Burton. Hey, is this a race to seven or nine? If there's a second, it goes to, okay. Fixing the scoreboard. Give me a second here. Wow, this is a, it's almost two a.m. It's almost two a.m. John. Oh, I know. It's nine. It's gonna be four o'clock in the morning. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm not getting much sleep tonight. If they have to go two sets.
Yeah, this is a true double dip scenario. So if they play the first one to nine, and it has to go to a second set, it's almost two in the morning now. We're about ten minutes to two now. Um, yeah, we could be looking, uh, could be looking at a three to four o'clock morning here for sure. Just even walking out of this place, let alone the the driving to get back home. Yeah, Steve, that's an option. He says the hotels are right up the road. <laughs> hotels right up the road, Steve Gillespie. Yeah. Josh gets game one. Well, at this level, the games will be faster. Somehow I've got the feeling that the hotels around here, you think that this is like some little podunk nothing town. They're probably about 80, 90 bucks for, for a cheapy place uh, a night, you know, and it goes up, goes up from there. I saw some decent looking, when I got off the highway, I saw a bunch of restaurants, a bunch of hotels. Um, this is probably not the cheapest. Oh, yeah. Not this the cheapest awesome area. Nick. You know, and I've got nothing wrong with spending a little bit of money on a, on a hotel, but when I need the room for like four hours, I'm not going to drop 130 bucks on a room for four hours. That seems kind of stupid. Oh. Oh, 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 what happened there? I'm getting low on gas, man. I, I just, oh, I'm so tired. Well, I got here at what? 10 o'clock this morning. Yeah. So what, what, how many hours is that? Uh, some? Oh, what did you get? Skittles? Skittles yeah. Thank you, John. Mike knows about cheap. <laughs> Frankie Ruiz. Let's <laughs> go break.
Oh, wow. I don't know how he missed that. He hit that a little casually. <laughs> yeah, he hit that two ball a little casually. Unfortunately, I think that let the rack go. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, Chris Olaf is cracking up. Mm. <laughs> We're trying to get some sugar in our system, man. Hey, these Skittles are pretty good. They are. I haven't had Skittles in years. These things are amazing. They are. Easy. <laughs> mm. Mm, mm, mm. All right. He says it's good, therefore it's good. All right, I'm going to look straight at the camera while I'm chewing these Skittles. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, yeah, I'll lick, lick your lips for him, too. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Let me go pay my bill before the register shut off. <laughs> okay, we got two to one Josh Burton against Jeff Francisco. So at the top of the table sits the two ball and the nine balls right next to it. Wow. I mean, but you had the you had to play it. I mean, what are you gonna do? You can't not take it. Interestingly enough, I would have thought that Wilbert Jett would have just tried to take and make a combo instead of running that down because that nine ball sitting right in the pocket. But he ran it out. Interesting. Thought he would have done that with that five ball. Shot a dead straight combo right down into the nine. So, Jet Francisco will be up three to two. Had a nine ball on the on the break. I believe that just spots because it was in the bottom right corner that the nine went in. But it's still Jets shot, and uh, he's got a little trouble with that three. He makes this two ball. That three is sitting right next to the six on the right side of the table from where I'm sitting, looking straight at the top of the table. 
right next to where the two ball pretty much is that he's shooting now. He's probably gonna, yeah, he opened it up kinda nicely. Ooh. <coughs> wow, he ended up, he ended up sticking himself behind that nine ball. I don't think he could avoid it. Wow. Nice hit on the three from Jet. He should, um, Jet should be up three to two right now, but it's about to be three to, it's about to be three to three. Three three, okay. Yeah. All right, thanks. Score changes quick, huh? Yep. Score's three to three, is that correct? Yes. They tree, just, tree to tree. They just haven't marked it. They haven't marked it over here on the, huh? red, on the red and the blue. Three, two, or three? Who's, got, who's got three? Josh has three. You have two? You only okay. have two? I thought you had three. Okay, three, two. I thought, you won a, I thought you won a game before this game. Do you agree, three, two? I thought he it was does. three, okay. three. All right, okay. we're good. As long as the players agree, we're fine. Okay. Maybe. Finish those up. I got it in a bag. Maybe I'm wrong, but. Finish those. I got another bag. I thought I remembered seeing him win a game. Olas wants you to look into the camera while you chew them skittles. Oh, you got a whole other bag. I told you. I said, you eat those. I got another bag. I mean, you were. I wasn't going to risk getting my fingers bit by reaching over and grabbing more skittles. <laughs> <laughs> How come you wearing a Band-Aid? Oh, that was, shot spit me. That was pretty good. <laughs> I not tried, not I tried bad, John. to get John. the skittles out of his hand and he bit me. <laughs> not bad, John. Doing on time. It's about it's close to ten after two. That's six minutes after two on my on my phone. So technically the place is is supposed to be closed at this point. And there's only a couple people. I mean everybody's pretty much gone. There's a few people in here that are what happened? Watching the match. We lost the camera? How the heck did we lose the camera? We lost the camera. How? I mean... Oh, did it just did it just shut down because of heat? Like it like it was overheating? Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> Not yet. 
No. It did for a moment. Blinked on. There you go. Okay, there it is. So last with the uh, Skittles thing, I'm still laughing about that. Look at the camera. <laughs> oh, that was good. Here, Chris. There you go. <laughs> John actually got his own package. I had to. <laughs> Did you see how he was eating them? Things? He was. He's afraid I'm going to go after him like a rabid dog or something with the skin with these Skittles. <laughs> Keep a couple of those Skittles for the road. <clears throat> I mean, hell, I got to drive 70 miles to go back home. I Thank may, you. I may, uh, I may not even finish. I may not even finish that package. I might take some I gotta, music. I got a can wake of, us uh, up. I got a can of pop. I might take the can of pop with me. This old man and me. I just hope I can find a gas station around here that's actually open. I'm a, I was expecting probably the whole town probably is shut down already for the for the night. You should be <laughs> fine. You'll, you'll find gas somewhere. Probably. I mean, there, I would think there would have to. I yeah. would think there would have to be something in this <laughs> Excuse me. area. You oh know, man. I, I get it. This is not. Uh, it's going in. This is not Chicago, but. In the final. Wow. Nice shot. Nice shot by Josh. Banking that seven and getting a dead straight lead on that eight and that side. Beer is good. People are crazy. This guy's no joke, man. He's good. To him again. Score is now five two in a race to nine. Yep. If Josh Burnett wins this race to nine, it's, this is over with. Yes, that's right. If Jet wins, they'll play the true finals, which the next set will be a race to seven only. No offense to Jet, but I'm kind of hoping it's over with. I'm tired. <clears throat> but in the name of good pool, let's keep it going. Nice 
a shot. Be more Let's crazy. Bank on that one. Got a shot at the two and the five. Five gets the five. Leaves the two. He doesn't need to run into the six. Just leave himself a shot for it. Yep. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's gotten himself into a little bit of a zone there. A little light, he's, but he'll be fine. He's, He's just going to go around the rails and get right back for the nine in the exact same pocket. Uh, he might have gone a little far with it, but I think he's got it. It's not a problem. Nice. Yep. Six to two. Yep. Yep, not a problem. I don't think the ride back home will be so bad. I think once I get some gas, even if it's just 20 bucks or something, just enough to... I didn't burn that much gas, oddly enough. I drive a, a pretty performance car, actually. I've pretty much got like an M4 BMW, and uh, it, it, you know, it can burn some gas. It's a fast car. It's like 0 to 60 in like 3.8 seconds. Um, and uh, oddly enough, I didn't do too bad on gas getting out here. That's why I didn't put gas in when I came. But as soon as I got off that highway, I thought to myself, I don't know if this is the type of town that will shut down at like 9 p.m. Or, you know, this is not Chicago where you could go out at 4, you know, 4 in the morning and there's three gas stations open, you know, within two miles, of, you know, two mile radius or something at least. Um, and they're all open, you know, they're not closed at 10 o'clock at night or, but, uh, I should be, I should be okay. But, uh, what I was going to say is once I, once I do that, um, the drive's not too, not too bad. The drive down 57, I can see being a little quiet. <clears throat> Got about, uh, probably about 30 miles or something to go down 57 until it cuts over to like 294.
It's coming, it's oh, coming, it's this. coming. Oh. Close. Very close. Yeah, he didn't do uh, Jet any favors with his leave here. This is crazy. He put him behind. He's, he's on the eight ball as far as, like, being able to bridge and even really hit the ball, the cue ball. He's got the seven sitting in front of him. And, I mean, the, the three is, like, I think he's got a glimpse of it, but making a good shot if he, if he can cut that. I mean, nice that. shot. That was a beautiful shot. No reward. You know, couldn't couldn't hold it. I mean, there there was no way he was gonna hold that cue ball for that four. Couldn't judge the speed. To, probably he was trying to make that three. There's no way to judge that speed. That was trouble from the start. Torture U plays around 700 Fargo speed on bar box. Uh oh. Who's that? Is this locked or no? Is it locked? Okay, I, I need to. When we're done here. Okay. You got it. He did. Six to three. Sure did. Didn't look pretty when he hit it. I mean, it almost looked like the nine was going to hang. Kind of wobbled around and just dropped. Torture you, says Josh. Oh. Yeah. Could play a little bit better than maybe a 625. I mean, that's, you know, that's... Probably something that, you know, if... if uh, Does Fargo have a distinction between eight foot, I mean, seven foot I mean, and nine he, foot tables? If he were to, uh, I believe it does, but uh, if he were to win this entire tournament and if this is getting entered into the Fargo system, uh, he may go up over a 625 at that point if he takes this whole tournament down. Uh, would he jump to a, you know, 700? Probably not. You're not going to jump like 75 points. Um but he might jump to like a 640 or somewhere, you know, thereabouts because you're, you're beating other people that are 600s. I mean, it's a free shot at the nine ball. Yeah. You almost have to try it. I mean, why would you, why would you not? Look at that. Wow. You got it. Sure did. Six to four, just that he, you know, this is how these matches swing. So, you know, so differently. I mean, he, just, he just got two games just like that. Yeah. Damn. Didn't even take two minutes, probably three minutes to get those two games. <laughs> he falls asleep. Beautiful. Got an open table. He doesn't Wide have, open, man. Doesn't have a problem ball Not anywhere one. on this thing. And every ball connects, like connects in practically the other ball. Like the one can get you the two, the three, <laughs> the three gets you the four. I mean, just the five is I at the top. Yeah, I mean, just the five is at the top of the Great. table. Like, but, like you make this two, you shoot this three, it gets you right to the, you know, you're dead at the four ball. I mean. Just got to get up the table to the five and figure that out. He 
might have left himself slightly off on an angle that he didn't necessarily want. Because what I think he's going to do is he's going to try to come back on the side of the seven ball so that he can pocket the five in the other corner away from the seven ball. I don't think he can make that corner. I think the seven's got him on the other corner. Perfect. Perfect. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. It's pretty good. I mean, he's got it. He's got a shot for sure. Six five. Yep. And like we've seen in some of these other matches, this is how quickly a match can actually swing. Just takes one game to start making the difference. Wilbert's just picked up or Jets just picked up three games just like that. He was down six to two. So you got the two ball on the back rail with the nine right next to it. Definitely don't like it because it's not lined up as any kind of a dead shot here. He's, he's probably, yeah, I guess he's taking a roll. He's taking a roll out here, but I don't think I can blame him because if he would have fired a kick at that, He's probably taking a chance. He's going to shoot and hit the two. That nine is going to go flying, maybe luckily fly into a pocket somewhere. But he could also be selling out the entire rack if nothing happens other than the two ball gets out in the open. Could have sold the whole rack out. I don't know. What do you think, John? Do you fire What's up that? this two and try to pocket that eight? Bank combo? the two. Yeah. Well, I, would, I would have banked it. I would have missed probably. Oh, five ball kind of hooks the two a little bit, yeah, no? Yeah, I don't know if he's got enough to, to make it. It doesn't look like it. He's grabbing his shorty cue. Yep. He's, he's going airborne. Nice shot. Very nice, but I think this five might have him again. One, two, three, we may have to do this four, again. Five. Yeah. See, maybe maybe he's got a shot here. We just didn't see it. No, he clipped the he clipped the five ball. He did. He sure did. 
Yeah, he clipped the clipped the five ball. It was tight. I mean, it was it was pretty tight. I was figuring another jump. I thought the five had it. Good choice of music, whoever put this oh, on. Oh, yeah. It's a good song. Okay, looks like Jet Z. I mean, just that quick, it's going to be 6-6 six, six here. Yeah. It's like a four-game swing. Yeah, he was six to, it was 6-2. to two. alarm that goes off at 2.30 in the morning. I just kind of a reminder. I'm usually awake at this time anyway, so it's just kind of a reminder. I can look at the phone and realize it's 2.30 when I lose a little track of time. You made the nine ball in a break? He sure did, yeah. But, but in the bottom in the corner. Bottom corner where it doesn't count. But he's got to spot that. I think he's got to spot it up before he shoots anything. I think he's just eyeballing the, the table real fast here. Yeah. that that scratched. Yeah, right. Huh. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm running low on, I'm running low on fumes here. Oof.
seven to six. Josh. this this one nine just laid at the top of the table no oh, I didn't have enough to must have been off a little yeah well didn't have enough to make it That two hung on him. That two ball hung on him in the corner. He'd probably been out of the. He probably would have been out of the rack if he makes that. Would have been eight, eight to six. And that could be. That could be a huge swing right there. Again, like we say, that could change a match right there. Got here. Just got it hard enough to get out of there. Bump that eight ball and just got a shot. Seven seven.
Oh, that's what happened. Facebook went dead. Oh, Facebook? Yeah. Was that why the camera? Yeah. Wrapped out? That's what killed the, killed the video part. Yeah, I, I don't know why. Don't they kill it after so many hours? Like eight hours or something? Yeah, but we were, we were within a timeline. No, that's true. That's true, but uh, I'm not sure what happened to Facebook, guys, but I had to uh, reset it, so thanks for coming back. I'm not really sure why I, why I did that. Are you watching the finals? Um, Jet Francisco and Josh Burton race to nine. It's tied 7-7. Seven, seven. If, uh, if Josh wins this, it's over with. If Jet wins, they have to play the true race to f uh, seven is the, real, the, the true finals. I can tell you what I'm rooting for. Completely selfish. Eight seven. I don't think so, Anthony. This guy came from St. Louis, I think. Or, or Indianapolis. I don't think so. I'd be surprised.
What's up, Joey Gonzalez? Excuse me.
Yeah, Brett, we're still here. Yeah, he's in he's in his pajamas. I, I won't see my pajamas for another two hours. Well, where the where the hell does he live? Brett Snowden. I'm not sure. How far away he was from here, but wherever he I mean, he left here probably well over an hour ago, so shit, I could have probably made it home by now if I left him here. <clears throat> Hill Hill. Some good pool here, man. I agree, Steve. No. Shots, let's finish strong here. Yep. This is me and uh, Johnny Niguez and Mike Shot sitting in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> we're, sitting, we're sitting in the shadows <laughs> watching the pool players. All right. Jet Francisco to the break. Hill Hill against Josh Burton. If Jet wins, then they play a true finals which is a race to seven because Josh hasn't lost yet. Jet lost once. If, if, Je if Jet wins, I think we're driving home in daylight. Oh, at, for sure. At this point. For sure. <laughs> if Josh wins. By the wins, time we walk out of here, it'll probably be starting to get daylight. If Josh wins this game, it's over with. There's a quite a bit of money on the table for prize money for these guys. So I can understand if they don't chop it and they play it out. Plus there's some bragging rights here. Yep. Um, I'm not quite sure where uh, where Jed is from, but I'm pretty sure I heard Josh is from Indianapolis. Yes. He came all this way to play. His lady friend is over there watching. Sure, he wants to bring home a victory. Just don't move the nine ball. Leave the nine ball alone. Well, he touched the nine a little. Did he? Okay. I uh, just skimmed it. Skimmed that nine ball a little All bit. All right. At this point here, if he's dead straight, he's going to draw it back a come, little bit. Come I back think. for the, yes, exactly right. Going to draw back six inches or so. And then he'll probably, make, and he'll then he's got to do something to get to the nine ball. He'll hit the eight ball with left English and bring it around three rails for that nine ball. Yep. Drew it back a lot Holy more. Holy cow, what a shot. Drew that, that was. back a lot more than six inches. Jesus, if, he drew that back six feet almost. If, if he can draw like that, he's going to do it again right here. Sure did. He'll bring it right back to where the cue ball's at now. There you go. 
Perfect. Nine balls straight in for the victory, and we, and we play a true finals. Wow. All right. Congrats to Jet. Nine. <coughs> I'll, I'll post it up. Wow. There you go. Yep. Let me clear the scoreboard. They're going to go right into it. This is a race to seven now. This is the true finals. Handshake. Coin flip is done. Here we go. It'll be daylight again, yeah. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I won't have to worry about finding a gas station that's open. There's something to be said for driving home in the, in the daylight. I mean, in all honesty, it's probably actually safer. I mean, for one. Well, it's not going to be daylight. It won't be daylight, but it get, for it, three more hours. it'll be getting pretty damn close, though. It starts getting light about 5 o'clock now. I mean, it really does. It's going to be pretty damn close. You you don't even John you don't even live that far away from here. Look at that shot. Did you see that? Wow. Holy shit! Got perfect position on that seven. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> that might be a seven hundred level 
Fargo uh, shot there. I hate to say I hate to say it, but I haven't seen too many 600s make a shot like that. Jesus Christ. I mean, that was disgusting. That thing went around like three rails, came back, and got like perfect position on the seven ball. <laughs> Let me tell you guys, I'm in, I'm in business, and my business partner is a professional pool player, and he's played in the Moscone Cup like a half a dozen times, and I don't think I've ever heard of him making a shot like that. That's pretty sick. What's up, Rob Molina? No, not one bit. Anthony? They never even thought to chop it. Yeah, Hatch is uh shots Hatch. Business partner, yeah. Yeah. That's right. <coughs> Look at that. Uh oh. No, I think he's still got a chance here at it. We might have to hit the rail a little, but. Uh, Jet had to double dip Josh, so Jet won the first set. I think we might be seeing a little bit of his real speed here that everybody keeps talking about. Everybody keeps saying he's got like a better, you know, gear that nobody sees because he's, you know, people <clears throat> people complain he's not properly rated on the Fargo, and we're seeing some shit here. Like that, that shot was literally disgusting that went around three rails. Finish him up. Uh, Gopal Manan says, I remember an interview with Bergman where he specifically said that he believed kicking firm on a diamond seven foot was the way to go. Obviously, there are exceptions, but I always found it interesting. That's cool. And uh, Torture You says, nice to see Dennis playing a bit more. Seen him at decoys a couple uh, months ago. Who is Torture You? Um, that they saw Dennis at decoys, because I've been down to decoys. Decoys is a bar that's in Michigan City, Indiana. They do tournaments down there, but they have valley pool tables. Torture You, what's your real name so uh, Mike can know but you? Dennis has played in a couple tournaments there. I think he's taken first place each time that he's played. He's, uh, he's beaten Mark Jarvis. He beat Jason Kirkwood in one of the tournaments. Mark Jarvis and Jason both played in that tournament. Well, that's right, Chuck Bachelor. Okay. I remember I asked him before because I've I seen. I remember writing his name down at uh, ISPA or IOMA last year.
I mean, now he's just making this look effortless. Oh, man. So now, now what are you going to... He's not really a he's not really a 604 Fargo. That's what everybody's going to be saying when they're watching this. Well, Bachelor says Mark Jarvis and Jason Kirkwood just chopped a bank tournament there. Yeah, that's right. They just had a they just had a banks tournament at uh, Decoys. Uh, what about a, uh, a couple days ago, or was it this weekend? Or I, re I remember seeing uh, a flyer for it. open table, I mean, except for that one ball. <coughs> well, I think he had, I thought he had enough of a shot to cut it in the corner. He apparently played, tried to play a safe. I thought he was going for it. He's eating the last of my third bag of Skittles. No, no, no. You got a little bit in there. No, you can have, have a little one. sugar. You, you can have. One. Uh, that's okay. Eat them. I know you need them. You need the sugar rush. What's up, Andy? I'm 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 beat. My gas tank is on fumes. I had a whole bag of Skittles and it's not helping. Yeah, he said that bank tournament happened about a week ago. That's right. They played a they played a bank tournament at uh, at decoys out in Michigan City, Indiana. And uh, Derek Baez uh, is the guy that runs those tournaments. He's kind of like the tournament director for that bar. And uh, he has tournaments. You can see the flyers like literally almost every week now, I think, practically. So he's doing tournaments almost weekly at that place. It's actually a decent place. I've been there twice, I think, now. And I played in, I played in the one tournament where Hatch uh, beat Kirkwood. I think uh, they played in the finals. Jarvis was, Mark Jarvis was in the mix too. Uh, I think he beat Kirkwood first. Maybe it was like a semifinal and then played Jarvis in the, in the finals, but Dennis ended up winning the entire tournament. So John, this is what this is what people talk about when you when you see him playing like he's playing this moment right now. He looks better than a six twenty five. Sure. You know this is seven hundred caliber shit. I mean, when you see balls going around three rails and getting perfect position on a seven, you know when when that's like one of the sickest shots I've seen in a while.
how many people we've got watching still. Uh, right now we have. Fifty-one. Okay. Fifty-one people are still up at what time of night? <laughs> Three o'clock in the morning. Watching us. Three eleven. In the morning, watching us. Nice. Well, it is a Saturday. I mean, shit. I know. I know. There's plenty. It's bizarre, but sometimes I'll be awake at this hour and I'll get on my Facebook. And there are a shitload of people that'll be, like, signed into Instant Messenger. And it's like, don't people, like, you know they're at home, though, at this point. You know, like, they're not out, you know. Like, when you were 23, you'd be out till 6 o'clock in the morning. But you get a little bit older, you've got some responsibilities. Uh, at at 3.30 in the morning, you're probably, like, at home, but maybe you are awake. And they're signed in. And you're thinking to, your, to yourself, I, I literally see 25, 30 people sometimes signed in at 3.30 in the morning. Wow. That's a lot. Sure. say Fell asleep. No, it's almost over. I'm, I'm here. Okay. Fifty people be mad at me. No. We still got fifty people just watching. You, just use, just use that jump shot. That here, look. He, that he just shot at that one ball. And make that a perfect. Yeah, add these two numbers up. Perfect example, because that shot was pretty sick. It oh, nice. so, you know, I know it just scratched, but. That jump shot was pretty, you know, you got to be pretty good to make a jump shot that accurately come back down and get position. Mm. He's going for the cheese. He got it. third set <laughs> no no we're done after this I promise you we're done after this Three something. I'm in, I'm in here. Okay. I got a good amount. I was going to say, you still got pieces of pizza over there. You could actually eat one of those. It's been sitting for a while, but. It is what it is.
Um, Louise is still here, right? Yeah, I think he is. Renee is still here. the table like that? Yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> you, Nick, oh my God. I've been here since 10 o'clock this morning. I don't know. Oh, there it is. Luis is still here. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think we can say anything about this over the year, though. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to make any calls on this.
Four to three. Four to three. Sure. This will be interesting. See if he can somehow figure out how to get a leave on this. Ran that down four 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 yeah okay yeah he ran that off I think he he's picking up a little bit himself because he sees it was kind of slipping away for a moment there when it was like four to one or yeah it's only a race to seven. Owen is online. See, I mean, you get all kinds of people online after 3 a.m. <laughs> Jason Kruger is back online here. Better be sleeping. I would have, I would have figured at this, at this point, yes, probably be sleeping. Aye, aye, aye. Oh boy. <coughs> Thank you. 
just got himself a little hooked. I think he might see the edge of the ball. up even if he had a better shot at it unless he tries maybe to carry him. Do you carry him or combo here? I think I carry him that and try to hit the nine and make it. That's what I think he's looking at. I don't know if that combo goes. Oh, wow. Nobody said it was like a simple... This is a simple, easy carom. <laughs> it, even that didn't look lined up that good. He's going to let him have a shot here. Yeah. Kind of saw that. And even if it would have stopped, I think he might have had a shot at that four in the corner. Over here. By us. Left left pocket at the top of the table. If, if he had, Even if it had hung up and stayed in the pocket. The cue ball. <coughs> he still could have made it. He's literally got to take and bring this all the way back down the table, and he can have a shot at the five in the side. I mean, from here, if that's what his thought is. Got enough room, huh? Goes right by that nine. I didn't see that. Oh my gosh. He got, he got, I think he got screwed on that eight ball doing that in that nipple. Wow. Otherwise, I think he's out of that game. He got screwed with that. Hmm. Maybe a one pocket shot. Bank that eight up here. Look 
Look at that bullshit. Look at that shit. But look at the leave on that nine. I mean, that's like the shot was fantastic on that eight. Made that like, you know, you didn't even have to think about it much. It just went natural. But then that leave. Hmm. He's just probably going to play like he's going to skim it and play a safe. Probably. That's the best thing he could have probably done. Yeah, there's nothing else. That's the best thing he could have done. There's nothing else to shoot. Holy shit. Wow. Just hung right in the pocket. I mean, like, literally, that, that should never have happened. That should have fallen. That's crazy. <clears throat> yeah, that should have fallen for sure. screwed. I believe the one and the two are tied up down toward the bottom of the table at the right corner from where we're sitting. That's a smart shot. Very nice kick. That was well played, 5-5. Five, five.
This is the uh, second match. So. Six five, and you shot that perfect. Jets on the hill. Jets on the hill. Yeah, you shot that perfect. Look at this, if he had a little more room, I don't know if he could do it like that, but if he had a little more room without that five ball sitting there, he might be liable to bank that one right back into that nine ball and make that combo. He may try it anyway. I think he still can. He might be able to. Just obviously if that five wasn't there, he's got a little more of that rail dude to look at, but... Decided not to. Well, <clears throat> might have been a smarter shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that might have been the smart way to go. Josh is in a predicament here if. Josh doesn't make a good hit on this one ball. Well, he gets ball in hand, he's going to take it. The one nine. Absolutely. It's over with. He may take it anyway. He's got a, he's definitely got a stab at it. I mean, he's got to cut it, but he may be taking this anyway. Karam shot for the win. I don't think he got it. He came close. Definitely came close. Oh, Zivok, we're still here, man. <laughs> this is live. <laughs> yeah, it's still live. Yeah, no Memorex, man. We're still here. Yeah. Yep, still live. <clears throat> I'm feeling it, too. I'm tired. Zivak, by the time I think we finish this at this point, it's going to be about four. 
Let's just say hypo- nice shot. Let's just say hypothetically. That was a beautiful shot. Let's just say hypothetically it'll be about four. And I've <laughs> got... <laughs> I've got like a 75-mile drive ahead of me to get home. It's going to be day. What's the over under on it being daylight by the time I walk into my, you know, by the time I walk into my door of my home? It'll probably be daylight outside. I'm just saying, look at this. Beautiful. Hell, hell, boys and girls. Uh, Pete Wilson won the case and then sold it to um, Chris Scott. Chris gave it to his wife. Good luck, guys. Great match. There it is. Game over. I mean, you can't do anything when a nine ball sits right in the corner pocket and it's dead lined up when you get to the three. It's a dead straight combo. You can't do anything about that. It's not like Jet shot bad in that game. He didn't have any shot at that. Listen, I normally have something clever to say and a nice long bid farewell to you guys, but I'm so damn tired right now. I'm going to get some rest. Um, Take this off and put this over here. On behalf of uh, Calcutta Kid TV, I'm Josh. I'm Johnny. I'm jo <laughs> I don't even know my name. <laughs> I'm Johnny Niguez. I'm here with uh, Mike Shots. Mike Shots, and we're gonna say good night to to you all. God bless you all. Have a good night. Happy Thanksgiving, and I'll see you soon. Yep. Good night. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>